Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to part two of our finale for Realms and Roleplay, Sovereign of Death. Uh, where we last left off, our heroes were in a bit of a bind. Um, Mady ran into a skeletal version of her father, um, and before they could figure out what action to take, um, Calderon appeared and uh, teleported away with Mady in tow. Um, so we are going to uh, split our time between two separate scenes uh, and we'll do that while the party is split until you all come back together. If combat breaks out, we'll operate in initiative order, but until then, uh, you can act freely. So we're going to go to Mady first. Um, so you appear um, in this uh, void space. You're standing on a stone platform on the ceiling of the palace and uh, there's this dark purple mist that surrounds you. It's very similar to the energy that you saw come off of Arya earlier uh, and that you saw oozing down the sides of the palace. Um, and standing before you, uh, clad in uh, black armor uh, and wielding a broadsword, you see uh, Bathos Tyrannica. Um, and he's a white dragonborn um, and next to him, you see uh, Skuldana, who you met earlier. Um, and the two of them are sitting uh, on thrones, uh, side by side. And next to you is... Our couple. Calderon. And you see Calderon has a gaping hole in his chest, uh, oh. presumably from when he was shot uh, with the, the giant... Uh, crossbow in your last fight and you see that his eyes are glowing gray and they're emulsive uh and it looks and he has this very uh blank stare as he's standing there um so yeah you're you're standing in front of bathos and skuldana they look at you uh and skuldana reaches out her hand and this dark green energy that you see from calderon's eyes leaves his hand her, his eyes and goes into her hand and as uh, she closes her fist on the last of the energy, his body uh, drops to the ground lifeless. Um, and you see uh, Bathos looks at you and he says, the last human, you are hard to track down. I mean, I haven't really been hiding out. Do you know What's happening here? Well, I have some clues, but I'd love to hear it from you. We are doing something that should have been done a long time ago. With this ritual and with your help, we're going to end the violence that's plagued our land for too long. violent ritual you don't usually end violence but yeah sure tell us more so uh skuldana speaks up and she says uh, all you need to do is decide if you're going to allow the ones you love to suffer or if you're going to put it into it right now okay i'm going to need some more details here so because from what I can tell, you've brought a lot of violence in. Can you make a perception check for me? Sure. And to be clear, this is just Mady standing in front of uh, this terrifying power couple, right? Yes, it's just me. Okay. Perce Are you still dressed like an elf? Yes, I am. I um, wasn't trying to hide. No. <laughs> uh, a non-natural 20. Awesome. So um, in the mist, you see that there's a small pocket where the dark swirling energy uh, sort of goes around and creates this air pocket. And standing in the air pocket, you can see Kit. And um, Kit looks at you and in your head, you can hear Kit telepathically speaking to you. And uh, Kit says... Told you there's more with this cat. It wasn't just a random possession. Kid says, I am sorry that you're in this position. I, I did my best to protect you, but I wasn't strong enough. 
What what position am I in? I try to think back to her. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, Kit has established a message with you, so you are able to communicate telepathically with, awesome. with Kit. Uh, and so uh, Kit says back to you that um, Bathos and Skuldana intend to take your soul and use it to destroy life as we know it. Yep. They want to reshape the world in their image. Okay, cool. I give her a wink. I'm like, yeah, pretty much thought that's what was going on. Okay, <clears throat> so I turn back to uh, Bathos and Skaldana and I go, what exactly do you need me to do? Uh, so we're going to pause in that scene and cut back to the rest of the group. So you all are in the hallway um, and you just saw uh, Calderon take Nady. Um, and you're there with Anne, who looks like she's undergone some kind of transfer transformation, and a minotaur skeleton version of Mady's father. Um, and you see Anne has uh, two daggers in her hands, and she's like, uh, look, she's looking at you, Arya. She's like, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna join us? Or are you gonna die? I think there's a third option. You see, what do you guys think? What'd you say? I said, what do you guys think? I mean, I'd love to hear uh, your third option, Arya. I, I would like to quietly eat a melon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll a d20. That is a six. Awesome, so you get uh, 10, uh, 10 HP back. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking very intently into their eyes while just going. <laughs> so as you're eating this melon, uh, you see Krondok's, uh like skeletal sockets uh, staring blankly back at you. Um, and he extends uh, a hand and says, there doesn't need to be violence. Do you know what the king of the dark what was his name the dark king? king of the dead king of the dead there we go is going to do with your daughter i have no daughter oh i mean she she just got you do her name's matey you raised her in my past life matey was my daughter but now i am a servant of the sovereign so you're cool with whatever they're doing to her right now you're just fine with it Maybe sacrifice is destiny. She's saving us all. Oh no. Okay. Arya, I'd love to hear your third option right now. I try to use my wings to like with a quick burst of air fly over um No Mr. Bullhorn <laughs> towards the door. Okay, awesome. So uh Go ahead and do an athletics check. Can I argue for acrobatics? Go for it, yeah. Yes. Okay, let's see, digital dice. That is an 18. Awesome, so um, you uh, spread your wings and uh, Anne and, and uh, Krondok are stunned for a moment and you're able to, to fly past him uh, and burst out of the door. As they're watching her fly over, I'm going to stab Krondok. <laughs> okay, awesome. So, <laughs> <Surprise> <laughs> attack. so uh, at the same time, I'd like to uh, just give a big old bash to uh, Anne. Okay, so uh, we're going to start uh, combat. I'll give you a surprise round. So what's going to happen is we'll resolve what happens to Arya, and then you two can do your attacks, and then we'll operate in turn order from there. So... Um, Arya, you burst uh, out of the door and you see that there is uh, a dark mist swirling around um, the roof. Uh, you can see that the the stair there's a stairway uh, about 15 feet for, from where you're uh, flying, and on top of the stairway is a is a throne um, or two thrones where Skuldana and Bathos are, and you can see Mady there with them also. Um, you also see. Uh, 
uh, a succubus um, <laughs> who uh. smiles at you. Um, and uh, they're like Sweet. sitting uh, on the, the ledge, uh, sort of eating some kind of rotten um, uh, fruit. And there's like a worm coming out of it. And when they see you, they throw it down and they say, I was hoping you would show up. I still need to kill you and your friends. Um, so so that that uh, that happens when you fly through the door. Um, Wynn, go ahead and roll your surprise attack on Krondok. Does a 21 hit. It absolutely does. Excellent. And would you say that I either had advantage or this was a sneak attack in some way? <laughs> well, I do say that I think you have uh, advantage and, uh, and it is fantastic. Yeah. Well, just in case, listen, I'm going to make that roll one more time just in case I get a 20. Just, uh, just in case, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to keep that 21. Uh, and then, <laughs> of course, I'm going to do some lovely damage with my rapier. Uh, and then my sneak attack, which is 4d6. Awesome. Go for it. So an 8 plus 13 is 21 damage. Great. Um, so... so did any of our party members like Orpheus, Keith, uh, Fatima, etc., did they... Did they pick up what we're th what we're laying down? Are they going to be dishing out some damage? So they uh, do not get to take a turn in the surprise round. They um, haven't been with us as long. They didn't see our subtle eye movement. They our They're not synergized just yet. And, and Orpheus kind of looks at you, Win, and she's like, "Oh, we're fighting. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, sorry." <laughs> uh, so, and you see, Keith is like in, in a book, and he's like, "Oh, okay." And he like pulls the knife out of the book. Wait, I'm um, sorry. Your girlfriend me, is just reading, reading a book. Keith. I was I'm, kidnapped. <laughs> The, the title of the book on the binder says How to Save Your Girlfriend. Uh, and he pulls the knife out of it. Um, and, uh, he pulls the knife out of the book. Aww. So you, oh, uh, you get 21 damage. So you um, you mess up, Krondok. Uh So uh, let's see. My uh, damage calculator is... Oh, it's working. Awesome. So um, you uh, lash out at Krondok and you see that he stumbles backwards and uh, readies his weapon. Uh, Marty, go ahead and roll your attack against Anne. Uh That is... I'm doing my great axe. That okay. is 14 plus 6 to hit. Does 20 hit? Yes, it does. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, that is... Uh, D12 plus three. Uh, that is eight damage. Awesome. Um, uh, and and I I could get so in a surprise round you get to, to use your all your actions right. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, eight damage. Mm -hmm. And then we got a second barbarian attack. Does a twenty four hit? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Then uh, I don't apply my damage bonus to this one, right? Well, um, actually, this is another normal attack. Yes. So that's 14. Awesome. So 14 plus 8, that is 22. Uh, you just and... wanted to beat me. So but before you roll your third attack, um, uh, what kind of weapon do you have again? Great axe. So you, uh, Anne's been, she's been talking a lot of mess. Uh, and so you bring your great axe down uh, and completely just obliterate Anne. Uh, and she falls uh, backwards down the stairs dead. Oh, she was I'm a zombie, conflicted right? about it. Um, so uh, Anne is dead. Um, uh, you uh, like soup, but, but like super dead, right? Like not like undead, dead. Hi, we're gonna see her as a skeleton later. Like she's dead. You uh, slashed her, uh, and she fell back down the stairs, dead. Is um, she dead the first time or the second time? Like, do, do the, we think this is a second death? So you're you could do an investigation check, but you're in the heat of battle right now. Uh, so you still have one attack left because you get three attacks, right? So if you wanted to, you could use if, that attack on Kordok. If, 
if I if I'm in a rage, I don't think I'm c currently in a rage though. Okay, yeah, so, you're not, so I can, as a bonus action, enter a rage. <laughs> but also, we've got a whole lot of combat to do. So as a bonus action, hmm, I will I will do an investigation check. Just like I I hit her. And like she just goes like flying down the stairs. I'm like, I just like do a like a little squint. Just look, like, did she actually die? Go ahead like and roll investigation with disadvantage. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to investigate someone as as you knock them down, <laughs> rocket them down the stairs. That's a non natural <laughs> one. Awesome. So uh, she's dead. Uh, yeah. She, All right. Uh, so I believe it. So, I turn around uh, and go like, hey. Awesome. Um, and so now we're going to operate in turn order. Uh, so it's Bathos' turn. Um, so we're going to cut back to you. But maybe. Bathos isn't in combat. Um, no, we're not. We're in combat. You did burst through the door. So in Burst combat. through the door, but oh, not yeah. in combat. So we're operating in turn order. A fight has not broken out yet where a matey is. Um, if a fight breaks out, uh, it, this would be his turn to act. Um, so, uh, you asked what it is that he wants of you, um, and, uh, you see, uh, he, uh, pulls a, uh, um, a bottle from, uh, next to his throne, and, uh, Skuldana takes a glass, uh, and he pours a drink, and he says, I would like for you to drink with us. Are you going to drink from the same bottle or is this like a special bottle that's going to do something extra bad to me? Uh, you see Skuldana has another glass in her hand. Bathos motions to a glass uh, next to him and he's like, we wouldn't let you drink alone. That's just rude. Aw, that's nice. And so you're going to pour it in your glass? Uh, he's like, if you insist. So he sets your glass down, uh, like in front of him. He picks up his glass, pours some, and pours some for Skaldana. And um, he motions to you. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I'm not really much of a drinker. Like, never touch this stuff. It's not a thing for me. Just really, it's like, it makes me kind of crazy and feel kind of bad. You don't want, like, a kind of messed up human, right? You want me to be, like, perfect pristine. So why don't you two have a drink? Let's talk a little more. You see, uh, they look at each other and he sits back and he's like, if you insist. Uh, and he drinks from the chalice. Uh, as he drinks, you see that some of the dark energy from around starts to um, close in on he and Skuldana and starts to kind of seep into them. Um, and that is his turn. So we're going to go to win. Um, you're in the hallway now. Technically, sorry. Just going to say technically, Skaldana also drinking that drink. Uh, that, she technically took her turn as well. <laughs> uh, they haven't gotten into combat yet, so they're not accurate, uh, operating. But technically. But also, technically. He asked y'all, I'm sorry if I made them more strong, but just, you know, <laughs> don't know what's going to happen. So, no, it was right that you didn't drink it. Listen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen. I'm yeah. proud uh, that you resisted an opportunity. First to hand, drink. that's not a good thing. What would you like to do, Win? Oh, hi. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna stab the dad. Stab the dad again. Well, it's, he's not even her dad. He denounced her. So, this traitorous ex-father. Go for it. Traitorous ex-father. All right. Uh. That was not very. That was not very good. That was an eleven. Okay, you know, there's. Hey, it's nothing wrong with an eleven. And but it doesn't. Does it hit? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it doesn't. But it, it was a good try. Um, okay. So <laughs> you uh, reach out to try to hit him, but he uh, blocks it with his uh, bonus forearm. Um, and now it is. No. Bonus action. Disengage. Oh move up the stairs out of his range. <laughs> awesome. So uh, so you slash at him, uh, and he blocks it. And as he does, uh, you sneak past him. Um, as you walk out onto uh, the roof, you see uh, Arya's there, and you see Maro, uh, the succubus that you all ran into in Stone Snarry. 
uh, and he is uh, discarding a rotten apple that he was eating, uh, a rotten fruit of some kind. Um, and if you would like, you can also make a perception check. Oh, I would. Lo- I love to do that. Uh, that's an eighteen. Awesome. So on an eighteen, you can see that there is a swirling um, pit in the center of the roof. Um, this pit seems to be supernatural, as in it's not a part of the architecture of the building. Um, the pit is dark green and black, and the the dark purple energy is, is uh, seeping up out of the pit. Um, at the center of the pit, you see that there is an altar, and laying on the altar is uh, Elder Son Robin, and <gasps> uh, his chest is cut open. Um, oh, no! And you see that he's dead on the altar. Oh, it was Elder Son. More like Elder Stunned. I'm Do stunned I right now. I, I'm, I'm like stunned. I'm stunned. court for a rage ability. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arya, you feel this d- dark energy that's inside you bubbling up. Um, yeah. And so, uh, sure when is. Is, <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? That's all of my turn. I just want it clear. I'm at the top of the stairs, so if Marty needs help, I can turn around and shoot for with my ranged weapons. Awesome. Uh, so um, <laughs> I'm just no man left behind. We're all being careful now. <laughs> absolutely. Um, hey, Marty, uh, what's your armor class, bud? Well, why are you asking, bud? Oh, uh, no reason. I've got a 16 armor class, bud. Awesome. So um, you uh, you see when uh, slip out. And um, you feel a uh, which which direction is Marty facing at this moment? Marty is, I think, still facing like down the stairs. Like he was, he was glancing over, yep. but like he had just squinted down there. Awesome. So, so as you're squinting, like... uh, and you have the ability to see, and uh, you have dark vision, you see Anne. Uh, shambling back up and she has these long fangs and she's like (sighs) hissing at you uh as she's rushing up the stairs um she's going to take a claw attack at you um so uh an 18 hits so she's going to hit you for i feel like carmen lied about her being dead (laughs) yeah i feel like i was told like hey before you take your next action She's dead. You rolled, a, you rolled a one. Relax. Yeah, you didn't roll well. <laughs> uh, so she hits you for 12 points of damage. And um, can you give me a strength check for an opposed grapple? Uh, uh, you need to beat a five. I lose 12. And I need to roll strength, you mm-hmm. said? Does a... So that's a d20 plus my strength modifier? That's correct. Uh, does a 19 block absolutely so uh she swipes at you and you see she tries to roll the suplex (laughs) so uh you on your turn if you would like to do a a wrestling move you can certainly try but so she tries to uh grapple you but you're able to hold her at bay for now um and now it's uh matey's turn so uh matey Bathos and Skuldana have finished uh, their drinks. There's this uh, called um, chalice in front of you with this mysterious drink in it. Um, what would you like to do? Okay, so now really what do you need me to do? You see uh, he sets his glass down and he's like I'm a reasonable man and I think that everyone should have free will. So I ask you now how much do you care about your friends? Because they're all going to die unless you stop this from happening right now. Okay, see, here's the thing. You keep, like, talking around the thing, and I know you're, like, sitting on the throne, and you're, like, this big dragon guy or whatever. Just be straight with me. What do you need me to do? Skuldana... Don't forget about my friends and all the rest of it. Skuldana looks at him, and she's, like, so disrespectful. Uh, and she <laughs> says... Uh, Listen, all right, you're the last human. You're the final ingredient that we need for the ritual. We need your heart. So we want you to give it willingly. And if you don't, we'll take it. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't have one. 
I had that stuff removed like 10 years ago. It's this weird human thing. Sometimes they go bad. They take them out. They put a, a like a clock in there. It's totally the same. <laughs> go ahead and roll a deception check for me. <laughs> Oh my god, you're the 20. <laughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you see Skuldana looks at you. She takes another drink and she's like, liar. I want to see for myself. Uh, and you see that uh, she starts to reach for a weapon. Um, so would you like to do anything on your turn? <laughs> okay, well... Let's, let's see. And I just like, I'm like, listen, all right, all right. You know what? Okay. You want me to give it willingly? Okay. We can do that. But I kind of need to get ready first. Can you just give me like a couple of minutes? I really, I want to get ready. If I'm going to die, the thing that I want most in the world is to see my true love. One last time. Uh, go ahead and roll persuasion. Twenty-one. <laughs> so uh, Skuldana looks at Bathos, and and he looks at her, and, and they kind of hold hands for a moment, and they're like, "We understand." Oh, that would be nice. Um, and you see. Uh, he makes a motion with his wrist and the mist clears up uh, and you can see Wynn and Arya. You also see that there is a swirling portal in the center of the floor. Um, and in the center of that portal is an altar uh, with Elder Son uh, Robin's uh, dead body on it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I guess you misunderstood uh, Robin's not my true love. I was clearing the way so you could go to your true love. Oh, oh, I could go like down the stairs. Like I can go and come back. I'll be okay. Cool, cool. Okay, I'll be back. And I just go straight down to the stairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, so um, go ahead and give me a constitution. You did the 21. <laughs> go ahead and give me a. Uh... <laughs> Give me a perception check. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before I go, before I go, hold on, hold on, hold on. I come back. I come back. I'm like, <laughs> you need this heart, right? You're going to make sure nobody hurts me on the way down and the way back up? Uh, Skuldana's like, go before we change our mind. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what am I rolling for? Persuasion. Or, uh, excuse me, perception, sorry. Okay, uh, 13. Awesome. So as you're going, you see uh, Kit is uh, sneaking with you also. Uh, and uh, telepathically, Kit says to you, oh, quick thinking. That's so smart. Um, so right. you uh, head back over towards the rest of the party. Oh, um, before before I do that, I think back to Kit. I'm like, what should I do next? <laughs> uh, you see, Tell me the next smart thing. <laughs> Kit looks at you and is like, Meow. And, and then, yeah. and then oh, Kit's right, like, oh, right. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just like kidding? Kit. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so that's Mady. Now we're going to go to Krondok. Um, so, Marty, you are um, still in the hallway. He's going to take a swing at you. Um, Does he enter my engagement range to do so? Because I was down the hallway, the, the thing from him. Before any of that, I mean, I feel like I got to the hallway. I feel like I would have uh, walked in I mean, and stopped it was everything. About, it, was about, <laughs> it was about 15 feet away from the door to the altar. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. and, and so even though you probably can move there on your turn, I'm going to say that you're at the door of the stairwell. Um, but because you did so many free actions, I'm going to say you have to hold for your next turn to do anything. So you're uh, next to me and Arya right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Uh, so, uh, Aria and me. uh, you asked if he in entered your threat range. Mark. Uh, yes. Uh, he, so you all were like roughly five, 10 feet away from each other. So he got closer to you. Um, and so he, he hasn't left your threat range. So you don't get a opportunity attack, uh, mm. for someone getting closer to you. Um, so he, uh, is going to attempt to hit you. Um, does a 14 hit? 
It does not. Awesome. What about a 22? Sure does. Okay, and a 21? <laughs> really? D uh, not, not pleasant. Okay, awesome. So um, he is going to hit you for... That sounds like a lot of dice you're rolling, sir. No, he was throwing those away because <laughs> so, he only had to roll one of them. <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry I moved away. I just uh, so, thought we'd yeah. all sort of get there on the next turn. <laughs> he uh, s swings at you with uh, his axe once and misses uh, over your head, and then he comes back twice uh, and hits you for 22 points of damage. Um and uh, that is his turn. So now we're going to go to Fatima. So all of your NPCs are still in the stairwell with Marty. So Fatima is going to go. Uh, she sees that Anne is attempting to grapple Marty. Um, so she is going to uh, try to uh, do an unarmed attack on Anne, uh, but she misses. Um and then she's going to use uh, some movement to move. Uh, so she's she's kind of moving around everyone. She's not leaving anyone's threatened range. Uh, so she's going to move a little closer to be in the middle between uh, Anne and Krondok. Um, so that's Fatima's turn. And now it's Arya's turn. She's going to attack Arya. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to fly over to the succubus and make an attack. Awesome, go for it. So let's see how that goes. What type of attack? Quarter staff. Oh. Not so a not, love attack. Not not a feather fist. Uh, uh can I I guess I can. Let's just do that instead. Let's do that instead. I'm gonna make an unarmed strike and use um yeah, the Fist of Light, which, is that just a flat d20 roll, or what's my hit modifier? Uh, so, uh, I believe when we talked about that before, it was a d20 plus your, like, for unarmed strike. So the same modifier you use for your unarmed strike. Okay, great. Let me double check. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't have any bonus. Okay. So I will roll for the hit. Does a five hit? Uh, unfortunately, it does not. Disaster. I'm going to go ahead and use patient defense to take the dodge as a bonus action. Oh, wait. Can I prepare that? No. Uh, so you would have to prepare. Wait. No, so I'm going can... dis to disengage. Okay. Is what I'm going to do. Uh, can you disengage as a bonus action? I can if I spend a key point. Okay, cool. So you uh, disengage as bonus action, um, and do you want to use any movement? Yeah, I'll move back over to where Wynn and Mady are. Okay, and are you walking or flying? I'm flying. Okay, awesome. So you swoop in uh, and try to hit Maro, but uh, he uses one of his wings to block it, and you uh, fly back towards the rest of the group. So it's going to be Orpheus now. Uh, so Orpheus is going to make a ranged attack. Awesome. So Orpheus pulls um, a, uh, a crossbow out and shoots Krondok for five points of damage. Um, and he is not looking good. Uh, so, oops. That's not right. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, the, the crossbow bolt sticks into uh, his shoulder. Um, but he seems unfazed by it. So now it's Marty. Okay. Um, yeah. So what's the what's the situation looking like right now? Yes. So um, it, you and all of your NPCs are in the hallway. You have um, Anne and Krondok on either side of you at the moment. Anne and Krondok? Mm-hmm. What if you duck and then they run into each other like in a cartoon? That sounds really good. Uh, so I'm going to start by going into a rage. Uh, Dad hit me and don't like it. 
I also don't like just people coming back from the dead <laughs> after I chop them with my big old new muscles and it doesn't actually do anything. It reminds me of the uh, endless churning of the free market and it makes me furious. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, so I'm going to go into a rage, my last rage of the day. And defeat capitalism, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to roll for uh, Great Axe. I'm going to try to attack, uh, gosh, let's go with Anne. Is it possible to fully kill Anne? You can most certainly try. And now, if I'm correct, she got vampire teeth now. I think she always had vampire teeth. Was she always a vampire? There's uh, no way. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, I don't know. It seems like <laughs> seems like something's happened to Anne since the time you saw her last. Seems like. Okay. I love Marty being like, nah, she's always been a vampire. This feels normal. <laughs> uh, let's hit Krondok. Does a 16 hit? Uh, absolutely, it does. Okay, then that's 1d12 plus 3. Uh, that is 10. Awesome. Then we're going to roll again. Uh, does an 8 hit? Uh, it does not. Okay. Uh, one last chop on... Uh, Oh, the, well, I want a frenzy. Okay, so I can't. So I've done my. Well, oh, but I've also got the uh, the other thing that allows me to, to take another action. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him one more time, so he can't hurt my friends. Does a ten hit? Uh, it does not. No. Okay, so uh, I hit him once uh, in retaliation because. Vampire. She's always been a vampire, right? Uh, and then I try to keep chopping, and it does not work. Wait, are you hitting Krondok, or are you hitting Anne? Krondok. Okay, Krondok is, is the Minotaur. That's Mady's dad. Anne is the one that you believe is a vampire. So if you're yeah. hitting Krondok, uh, you you hit him once. Uh, and uh, so you, you swipe at him, and uh, you, you cut some of uh, his chest. Um, it looks like some of the bones are cracking. Um, but he's still standing. So now it's Skuldana's turn. Um, she already had, had a good drink. Yeah, her, she did her have action a drink. was sipping. None of you are <laughs> near her. So she's going to do something off camera. Um, awesome. And uh, now it's... Don't, no. <laughs> nobody's over there. She told a really witty joke. <laughs> we didn't hear it. Uh, she told me I could go talk to my boyfriend. Yeah. So. Uh, she's just, is she, are they making out? I don't know. Uh, but, They're totally making but out. If they are. They're she really, really high. Out. So now it's Mara. <laughs> yeah, but he can't engage until his turn. So it's just her one sided right now. <laughs> Mara's blushing. Uh, so now it's Mara's turn. Um, so uh, uh, can we do that? Yes, he can. Uh, so Arya, Mady, win. You are all standing together near the door. Um, which is awesome. Um, we hold hands. You do, and, and everything's good. Um, so, um, uh, may can I get a, a, a wisdom saving throw from uh, Arya since you attacked him? How does a 11 sound? It sounds amazing. Um, so, um, okay. Uh, so Aria, you feel um, really tired all of a sudden. And um, then you uh, completely black out. So oh. um, Aria has been... Uh, charmed by this uh succubus oh, no. so uh what that means is that aria is going it's to, happened to all of us um obey uh his verbal or telepathic commands well hold on now i have this ability called stillness of mind which means that i can use an action to end one effect that is causing me to be charmed or frightened 
Awesome. So on your turn, you can use your action to end that. So. Um, oh, but he can make me do things until then. No, because he uses action to to uh, to charm okay, you. Good. So he would have to wait until your turn to to give you an order. So you'll have an opportunity to use that uh, to uh, break out of the charm if you would like on your turn. Uh, cool. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> monk power. So um, yeah, I had to pick the monk. So um, <laughs> you see, uh, Arya kind of stops for a moment as she's flying above you all, and uh, Kit is going to <laughs> Kit's going to jump on your shoulder, matey, and um, and Kit's going to say, "Hey, uh, I know this is kind of weird, but can you uh, can you can you scratch my left ear?" Can I do this now? Uh, yeah, I'll let you do this now. Uh, yes, I absolutely. Okay, scratch, so scratch you, away. You scratch <laughs> Kit's ear, and uh, in a puff of smoke, uh, Kit turns in uh, to Fee, and <laughs> <laughs> and okay. he, he's like, "Oh my gosh!" Okay, Ooh. okay, okay. Cat food that tastes was good. so bad. <laughs> I, that was so good. Just, like, I jump up and down and hug him and be like, I'm so excited. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, I love all this attention. Uh, so uh, Fee it has uh, joined the party again and uh, he is no longer in cat form. Um, so- I do have a hundred questions about why he was telling Mady she had to sacrifice us herself to save us, but okay. I'm also curious um, about that. Save me. I don't know. Blowing eyes. No, just none of those questions are going to get answered, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll I'm see. Gonna say, you're certainly welcome to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get back to the top of the turn order. It's Bathos' turn now. Um, and he is going to... Okay. Uh, so, uh, you all are celebrating that Fee just rejoined the party, and as you're doing so, um, s- there are about three, um, portals that are green and black, just like the swirling pit, that open up, um, above the, um, top of the palace, so they're floating in the sky about 30 feet off of the ground, and you can see that there are platforms starting to materialize um, underneath the portals. Um, so that's Bathos' turn. Uh, and now, when it is you. Hello. Hello. It's my turn. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I kind of, I need to know, Mady, are you okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, so far. Did it they my heart, let- though. Did they let you go? What's no. happening? No, no, no. I have to go back and give them my heart. But I told them that I wanted to go say goodbye to Keith first. I don't know. They just want my heart. It's like the last ingredient. I tried to tell them I didn't have one. They didn't believe me. I don't know why. So I don't know what we're going to do. I just figured it'd be better if I was standing next to you all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's literally as far as I've gotten. Okay. Yeah. Great. So don't go back. I guess don't go back there. Is Calderon I mean, still teleporting around? Oh, Calderon's toast. Oh. They sucked this thing out of him. He's like, done. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure he's gone. Okay. And me pretending to be you still a bad plan? <laughs> yeah, don't do it. They'll okay. take your heart. I like, I want to yes, take off my costume. the ritual won't happen. I don't want to die, but the ritual won't happen if they take my heart. Girl, the ritual's not going to happen. Okay. Well, I'm we got this. Okay. And then I level my big gun, my bad news, and I shoot the succubus. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, do it. So that's a 22? <laughs> <laughs> a 22 definitely hits. Great. Now, unfortunately, they're not near... Oh, Actually, wait, Arya's wait. right there. Wait. Getting charmed because she's had an unarmed attack. Can I... Wait, is she right next to him? Yeah. She, so Arya is him. with near you all. She, she yeah, she's with she us. Came back no, Ar- Arya oh, clearly you... tried to hit, to do a unarmed strike attack on this NPC and it didn't work. And then well, she came she back. Okay. She was like, will, sh- will, sh- you, will you let me pretend I did a bonus action first? Uh, what, what would you like to do? I have a feature from being an inquisitive rogue that's called insightful fighting and as a bonus action i can make an insight check against a creature that i can see 
contested by their deception check, and if I succeed, I can use my sneak attack on them. Oh yeah, go for it. So okay. uh, he rolled <laughs> he rolled a natural twenty on his deception check. Ah! <laughs> cool. Then never mind. <laughs> you see, he looks at you and he's like. <laughs> Yeah, he saw what I was doing. That's fair. I'm glad I did it. I have no regrets. So then the damage, let me just roll that. Uh, and that is 16. Awesome. Nice. Um, so oh, wait, sorry, 19. 19 okay. I, I forgot to add three. Okay. So nice. Beyond Dice were very slow, so I just saw the 10 and the 6, and then I was like, what do I have to do? <laughs> no worries. You pull out bad news and blast him with it. Um, and you see as... As the blast, uh, which uh, is now canon, that is this giant Kamehameha-style wave, uh, as you unleash this um, uh, epic blast, it like time slows down, and he kind of turns to the side as it goes by, but you blast uh, his wings pretty good, and his wings and his back are charred, um, but he seems otherwise unscathed. Um, no regrets. So now it is... Anne's turn. Um, uh, Marty, could you give me... Actually, no. Uh, Fatima. Because uh, Fatima attacked. Awesome. So, uh, Anne it grabs onto Fatima and sinks her teeth into Fatima's neck. Um, no! And Fatima is going to take... It's okay, she can be vampire. <laughs> Okay, hey, vampire Fatima would be very bad news. I did not really. Well, I mean, that. also, we've already established that uh, she is uh, compelling as heck, and it would not do anything to reduce that. Now, I think that there's like a ritual, though. She's got to drink back, and then I got to do it. Otherwise, she's dead. <laughs> Pretty uh, sure. So Fatima takes 16 points of damage. So oh. you see, uh, where is she? Oh, there. Uh, she's she's fine. Uh, so why does she have so much HP? Wow. Uh, so <laughs> she's she is the baddest. Uh, so uh, Anne is is drinking Fatima's blood um, at the moment. So that's her turn. Uh, Mady, it's your turn now. What about Keith? Yeah, Keith hasn't gone once. Did he? And not? neither has Jeremy. Uh, so Jeremy acts on Arya's turn I and. <laughs> For probably like for like the thirteenth time in this game, I've definitely skipped Keith again. So we're gonna toss. Keith, give him. We're gonna give toss him two. Give him two. <laughs> so his. Uh, we're gonna do his turn from last round. He's gonna be at the okay. bottom of the initiative order. So. Um, cool. Thank you. He so held his action. We're gonna do a bit of time travel for a second, uh, and so <laughs> Keith's <laughs> Keith's not gonna mess with any of the things I've already done, just because that's too complicated. So he's gonna attack Krondok. Um Thank you. And he... He just <laughs> held his action until he saw me, and then he's like, oh, I can attack now. He felt so <laughs> inspired that he rolled. Are you okay? Can I hit your dad? Yeah. Does he get inspiration? He, to, he needed consent to hit your dad. <laughs> so Keith uh, sees uh, you, and he's like, I'm really sorry, Mr. Bullhorn. I, I kind of love your daughter, and I don't want you to kill her. And, I love. Oh, um, this is how he's meeting the father. That's your reaction? <laughs> Uh, so Keith does nine damage to Krondok. Um, Respectable. I will take it. Oops, shoot. Um, oops, okay. Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Uh, so that's Keith. And now we're going to go to uh, Matey, right? Yes, Matey. I mean... I don't really know what to do, y'all. That's what I actually legit say. Well, we're all fighting, so. Kill your dad. I get, <sighs> no, we don't want you to have to do that. Kill Anne. Yes, you we do. What? I'm covered in blood right now, just shouting like, yes, we do. <laughs> She's eating, <laughs> she's eating Fatima. Do you want, should I go for Anne or, or daddy? I think I'm gonna have to kill my dad, y'all. Okay, I, but I feel like if you kill your dad, back, you'll kill him, and then that'll give you one less character who can deal damage back. I am getting my hammer out. You know what? This is a war over my heart. We're gonna make it for real. It's very Greek. <laughs> so, I will. 
This is so sad. A 21. Does that hit? It definitely hits. <laughs> okay. This is with my hammer. Um, so. Remember to take any bonus actions, additional uh, actions you have. Happy that. Rainy okay. day. 19. Savings. The world slows down. You can reroll ones and twos for damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got a 12. Awesome. Uh, so you... Uh, is that for your first attack or for all of your attacks? For my first attack. Okay, great. You pull out your hammer and you hit Krondok with it. And as you do, um, you see he turns to you. And uh, in the blackness, uh, the dark gooey blackness of his eyes, you see a tiny, tiny spark um, as he looks at you. And go ahead and roll your next attack or whatever you'd like to do. Okay. I'm battling with my dad. I see a spark in his eyes. And I just... I hit him again. Oh. So. He did tell me he didn't have a daughter anymore, so just take that knowledge with you. Does yeah. a 10 hit? It's really not your dad. Does a 10 hit? Uh, it does not. not. Okay. Oh, um, shoot, you could have rolled a bunch of ball bearings down the stairs. Your dad would have tripped and fell and cracked his skeleton head. So, uh, yeah, but you're all down there. All, yeah, there's more yeah. friends than there Marty, are enemies. Marty. As you Barbarian come. head Marty. is different. Marty, we're having a moment here. I'm trying to kill my dad. Okay. So as you come up for your second attack, uh, he meets your, your uh, hammer with his axe. Um, and he says to you, uh, you're making a mistake. That's all. That's that's what you have. Okay, great. Kill him. I hope I'm a disappointment to you. As you say that, the the spark in his eyes gets a little bigger. Um, and do you have uh, another? <laughs> do you have a, a, another attack or anything? A bonus action or anything? I do not. Okay, cool. Um, so you and your dad are locked are in combat sure? right now. And... Uh, nothing that I'm willing to use right now. Okay. It's actually his turn now. Uh, so he is going to... Uh, he's going to try to grapple you. So uh, can you make an opposed grapple check? So roll a d20, add your strength modifier to it. I believe that's called a hug in dad terms. Okay, a d20, <laughs> add my strength modifier. 22? Awesome. So uh, he attempts to grab you, uh, but you uh, easily brush off his grapple. Um, ah. and, uh, and that's his... Uh... Oh, actually, no. Oh, yeah, that's his turn. I'm throwing this dice away. Uh, that's... <laughs> Mail him to me. <laughs> um, so that's Crown Doc. Now we're going to go to Fatima. Uh, she is going to try to break the grapple with Anne. Um, she's unsuccessful. Uh, so Fatima is restrained. Uh, so she can't do anything. And now, Arya, it's your turn. I'm going to use Stillness of Mind to become uncharmed. All right, awesome. And then can I move, or is that my whole turn? Uh, so that's your action. You still have your movement. I'm going to fly through one of those portals. Oh, are you? Oh, um, are you? Yeah. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I just, I want to see what's on the other side. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> so, Aria. <laughs> Aria, you burst out of this... Uh, this charm spell and you take off into the air and fly right into one of the portals as you come out on the other my side iron man moment um <laughs> you uh, are in this ethereal plane um the space between space the space between life and death you see there are spirits and ghosts that are floating uh toward this big light in the sky and you also see this scorching pit below where there are some souls that are falling uh, uh, um, very fast into that pit. Um, you see that there are some lives being uh, sprouted, like new life. There are some uh, lights being extinguished. And uh, can you give me a constitution saving throw? Sure, oh, buddy. <laughs> Meld with the cosmos. This is the same thing you saw inside of your whole bag of holding. It's an 11. Awesome. So uh, the 
darkness that's been inside of you uh, starts to shoot out of your uh, your eyes and your mouth. And then in a, like an inky goo, um, a dark, uh, mysterious, shadowy version of yourself appears in front of you. Um, and it reaches his hand out toward you. In my experience, when a shadow version of a yourself appears, if you meld with it, everything goes great and you become a better part of yourself. Just a heads up. I'm just gonna ask, what do you want? You see, it turns his head confused. Uh, it opens his mouth to speak, but black goo uh, oozes out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I just fly back through the portal? <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me an athletics check. Yep. Can I argue for acrobatics? Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, what'd you get? 14. 14, awesome. So as you're um, flying uh, back towards the portal, um, high or low? Oh. Low. Low? Okay. Okay, um, uh, the inky blackness reaches out and grabs your wings. Uh, oh. And as you come back through the portal, your wings tear uh, and uh, you uh, are unable to fly momentarily as you come bursting out of the portal and fall uh, towards the ground. Um, as you Ooh. fall, you take uh, four points of falling damage. That's all of our hit points. Can I use my reaction? <laughs> To oh, you have feather fall, right? Yeah. Slow fall. Slow fall. Yeah. So yeah, you're you're fine. You're just you uh you come out of the portal and your wings are damaged. Oof. Okay. But I mean, you did anything come through the portal with her? Mm -mm. Uh, Can I? You feel that darkness that was in you. You feel that it, like yeah. it's gone. <gasps> All right. Cool. I can't believe that's what happened. <laughs> Yes! Awesome. All right. She's like, nothing bad happened. She was like, no. <laughs> Just I... charred smoking wings. I'm good, y'all. Yeah, really could... It has been worse earlier today. <laughs> I love Aria. <laughs> uh, so, right, is... what'd you say? I said, all right. All what's right. That's great turn. An epic turn from Aria. Uh, so, Orpheus is going to do something crazy. Uh, okay, so Orpheus uh, takes a small um, uh, spherical object out of her uh, pack, and for her first attack, she's going to wrap her arm around Anne's neck and rip her uh, to the ground. Ooh. And uh, you see uh, Orpheus takes the round thing and puts it in Anne's mouth. Uh, and she says, I'm sure that you were really nice once upon a time, but not anymore. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, Anne, uh, explodes, uh, and, uh, but, uh, since Orpheus was right there, Orpheus explodes also. No! Um, what? So, uh... So Anne and Orpheus explode uh, in this explosion. And the explosion is so big um, that the tunnel starts to collapse. Um, so the the wall collapses uh, back like the exit. So you, you uh, Marty, you are, uh, you are unable to go back that way to where Anne and Orpheus were. Um, so that's Orpheus's turn. Her uh, final turn, apparently. Uh, she, you see, Fatima is like, she saved me, and uh, yeah. I'm so upset. Um, Whoa! Yeah, throw your F's in the chat. All uh, of my friends <laughs> died. <laughs> oh. uh, so that was Orpheus's turn. Marty, remember the cool fairy at the at the soup kitchen? Yeah. Jed? The, this is a sovereign of death. There's a lot of death. What she meant by the heart on the note, and I never got a chance. Uh, so, uh, I pet went on the shoulder. I'm gonna have to kill my dad. So you know, <laughs> bad biscuits here, y'all. Just this lots of bad biscuits. Sucks. Yeah. 
Marty, uh, you see this heroic action happen that Orpheus does, uh, and uh, then the the ceiling collapses where her and Anne were. Um, what are you gonna do? As a, a one of my free actions is that I can just very is I can do like one like perception check or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Can I check? Is Orpheus dead? Go ahead and roll a perception check. She exploded. Six. Uh, you feel like whatever happened is, is something that you're not familiar with, so you, you don't know. Yeah, um, but he also thought Anne was dead. So <laughs> no one would be more dead. Is she My dead? Is My she dead? My favorite are, are our bad perception descriptions. <laughs> uh, so I'd like oh. to call, I call it Mady. Mady, do you mind if I help you kill your dad? Go for it. I'd like to it's swing my great exercise. axe uh, and bring it right onto dad's head. Awesome. Go for it. Does a 25 hit? Um, yes, a 25 does hit. Where did that dice go? Okay, that's a seven. Uh, gonna roll for a great, another great axe. Does a 19 hit? Absolutely. Uh, that is an eight, and then I will do one awesome. more. So, so uh, Marty, you say, uh, is it okay if I help you kill your dad? And Mady says, yes. Um, and Marty, you bring your uh, axe down and you- This has happened before. You cut right uh, across um uh uh Krondok's body diagonally and then you come down the second time the other way so you make an x across his chest in his body and maybe you see he looks at you and the spark that's in his eyes fill for a moment and he says i love you and then uh Krondok explodes into dust uh and oh, is, so is no more um and uh marty you just killed Krondok. i would like to whisper I love you too, Dad. And his uh, ashes are on the wind. Um, so now, is there someone within forty feet of me? Not to cry. No enemies. No, just your allies. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use my last action to uh, chug a melon. Okay, uh, go ahead. I and... stress eat. <laughs> go ahead and roll. Actually, I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna do something stupid as hell. Yeah, hell yeah. This, a, this is apparently a theme. I'm gonna use the cape of the mountebank. Hell yeah, Ooh. all right. I wanna teleport behind the uh, the, the tunnel collapse where Anne and Orpheus uh, got trapped and uh, make sure that, it, find out what happened. Awesome. I'm not gonna let the, them go without a fight. Awesome. So uh, you teleport uh, with your cape, and as you come out on the other side, you see that there is a lot of smoke in the hallway, and there is a, uh, a green and black portal that has opened, um, and you see uh, um, there are uh, a lot of char marks uh, on the ground, and that there is a trail of blood leading into the portal. I've still got movement. Jump into the portal. <gasps> awesome. So, uh, Marty, you heroically jump into this portal. And as you step through the critical, portal... I feel like that was a bad idea. <laughs> heroically. As you step through the portal, uh, you are weightless as you float through the space between spaces. Um, you see that there are um, countless other portals um, out in the atmosphere. But near where you are... There are uh, four other portals, and you see that um, there is a, a giant portal above you, and uh, there there is a, a dark energy from the space between spaces that is uh, uh, making its way out of that portal. Um, so you feel like the portal on the roof of the palace is that giant portal, and this is the other side of it. Okay. You can you make a perception I... check for me. Yes, I can. That's a nine. 
Awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's what you see. Good. <laughs> Good at hitting. Good at the portal. <laughs> <than> anything else. <laughs> um, okay, so that is Marty's turn. Uh, it's Skuldana's turn now. And uh, uh, so, so technically... Uh, okay, no, Skuldana's going to hold her action. That's what she's going to do. It's Maro's turn now. Uh, Maro is going to... Um, Hmm. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Morrow is going to take good care of uh, Michael One and Michael Two. Okay. Uh, he's going to use his claw attack. Actually, no, he's not. He's going to um, smile at you all and say, "Looks like I'm needed elsewhere." And then snap his fingers and disappear. Um, and I hate that. Uh, I like it. It's so, also really rude. Now Skuldana is going to go. And uh, where are... So uh, she... Bathos opened up a pathway so you all can see. Uh, uh, the roof is clear so you all can see and move freely without being obscured. Uh, yes, just like that. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Wynn, for being... So we're here. The succubus was like here and now is gone. Mm-hmm. And then the that's Skuldana and Bathos. That's absolutely correct. Great. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, Skuldana stands up and uh, she uh, reaches out a hand uh, and black mist uh, from her hand spews out um, and okay and uh, Yeah, black mist from her hand spews out, and it goes into Elder Son's body. Oh, no. And that's her turn. Um, and now it is Keith's turn. Oh. Uh, so Keith is going to run over to Mady, and he's going to roll to be charming. Uh, and he, he rolled a 12. So he's <laughs> like, um, he's like, oh, my gosh, are you okay? I'm so sorry that you had to kill your dad. And he's going to give you, like, a really tight hug. Um and as the battle rages, uh, he looks at you in the eye and he says, hey, look, I've been doing a lot of reading and I think that maybe our relationship was established in a time of trauma. But <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that... Are you breaking up with me? No, I'm just... Are I'm trying to... to no, me? I just no, tried I'm, to kill my dad. I'm, They're trying to steal my heart. I came all the way over here to see you and now you're going to dump me? You see... He pulls he pulls a paper out of his uh, shirt for notes, and you see on the back of the paper it says how to propose romantically. And he's like, "Uh, well, uh." Oh, whoa, 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 babe, gotta stop you there. Also, Dude. not the right time. Like either way, like let's just let's just put that but but put that back in your pocket. What? Back, back, it's, back, but, back. Nope, but, this but, is but, and but, when he but. turns it around to the side that he was reading, there's a note on there that has the symbol of the portals on it, and he's like, "I was going to tell you what I found out about these weird portals, but I guess <laughs> it's not a good time." And he he puts it away. Um, no, he's, he's like, no, 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 bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Okay, I'm, I'm really I was confused. I'm confused too. Okay, Here, let, listen, let's start over. Listen, I'm confused. I just had to kill my dad. You know, it's kind of like a thing. It's kind of a problem. Anyway, what do you know about the portals? Lay it on me. All right. And uh, so as you say that, he gives you a really passionate kiss. And he's like, I know that we have to stop this. And oh, no, we there's don't only have to one stop way this. to do it. No, we can keep doing this. I think I might have just got pregnant. What? What? I'm talking about the portals again. You <laughs> were kissing me. Oh, well, yeah. I was just trying to like be romantic in the moment because I feel like, you know, it's like, oh, we might die. I, I joke about stuff. Okay. All right. Portals. Uh, so he uh, <laughs> he's like, hey, so it looks like if we don't stop that big portal, it could consume all of Broken Rock and maybe even all of Yashan. Okay. So how do we stop it? Well, yeah, I don't know. Um, and you see Fee walks over and it's like, you're so useless and uh, slaps him uh, <laughs> on the leg. Um, Fee, nice Fee, him, Fee pulls out this, um, this orb 
and the orb is like floating in his hands and he says um you are the last human the final piece of the puzzle i was trying to tell you earlier but so i'm i'm a magical being and i was hiding in stone snarry because i was afraid of my destiny but i think our destinies are connected um and he holds the orb towards you he says um if you use this you might be able to bring back the other humans but it might be really dangerous like okay how do i use it uh you see he's like i don't know <laughs> i've never used one before i just heard stories about it from well the space where i come from can i roll a perception check to see if i trust him uh yeah go ahead and do insight insight okay 17. Uh, so you, uh, you feel like Fee is telling you the truth. Uh, you feel like, um, he's probably, um, so what you do know is that you've heard rumors about these beings that exist, um, in a plane beyond your own. So they're essentially kind of like godlike beings. Uh, and you feel like Fee maybe one of those types of beings but probably is the child version of whatever that being is so he he's not aware of how to use his use or harness his powers mr missile split lick <laughs> he's a baby god okay got it all right all right so i put my hands out go ahead give it to me uh he hands you the orb and as he does uh we're gonna go back to the top of the initiative order and it's Bathos' turn. Um, so he hands you the orb, and uh, Bathos from his throne uh, reaches out his hand, and he's like, time's up. Uh, and um, can you make an opposed grapple check for me? Uh, you need to beat an 18. Who? Oh, buddy. Me? I, I rolled a one. You rolled a natural one? Okay, cool. So uh, as soon as you grab the orb, uh, Bathos uh, oh. like pulls his hand out and you uh, are pulled to him. Um, and um, once he pulls you up to the platform, like the throne platform, the mist uh, begins to close back around you. I have a question. I'm at the top of the stairs. Did she get pulled past me? And can I grab her? Uh, yeah, so... Um, I'll let all three of you use a reaction to try to grab Mady if you would like. By all three, you mean like Keith, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Marty's um, not there. <laughs> uh, oh, that's right, Marty. You're in the space between spaces. Uh, okay, so Keith, um, Arya, and Wynn, you all have the opportunity to try to, uh, and Fatima, have the opportunity to try to grab Mady if you would like. Dex or strength? Uh, that's going to be a strength. Trying to beat no. an 18. I got a 16. Okay. I'm not strong. It Where's was a 17 be? minus one. <laughs> I got an eight and I am strong. That was a three plus five. That's okay. Uh, so, um, as. Keith do. Did yeah, Keith grab her? Or, for, or Fatima. As you're uh, being grabbed. Or Michael, what am Michael uh, too? There's so many people. Fatima. In this tiny hallway. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, so as you're being grabbed, uh, Fatima <laughs> uh, reaches her hand out and grabs your arm. And she's like, I won't let you go. And then Keith grabs the other side and he wraps his arm around you. Ooh, and he's like. Glad somebody has your back. <laughs> he's like, um, um, I'm not going to let go of you. Um, Michael 1 and Michael 2 uh, walk over and they're like. It is our operative programming to protect you. And they reach out and grab uh, you. Um, Wynn and Arya all grab on. But Bathos is too strong and he snatches you from their grasp, uh, knocking everybody prone. And you f shoot across the um, battlefield. As you fly over the uh, spiraling um, portal in the middle of the ground, you hear this like guttural 
roar uh, from underneath, uh, and you're sucked back uh, towards the throne where Bathos and Skuldana are um, as the smoke uh, uh, begins to reappear. So, when it is your turn. Uh, you just saw Mady get snatched across the battlefield, um, and uh, you saw uh, a few moments ago that um, Maro disappeared. So, what are you going to do? I'm running after Mady. Awesome. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to run after Mady. <laughs> awesome. So you uh, struggle to your feet and you're running as fast as you can. And when, like, all of your friends and a lot of your family have been in danger, a lot of your friends have died, uh, as you're running, tears are streaming down your face. And uh, the mist starts to um, wrap itself around you. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. This is bad. 17. Awesome. How many good melons do you have in your possession? Oh, no. I have seven. Okay, so four of them rot um, and are no longer useful. Um, and you are able to make your way through the smoke and you're on the altar. Uh, you see that Mady is there with this orb in her hand. Um, and Bathos is now standing uh, with his broadsword at the ready, uh, Skuldana as well. And there's a giant portal behind them. Uh, bonus action, reload, bad news. <laughs> awesome. Action, shoot, bad news. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'll say that like as you were running over there, you were reloading bad news. Uh, so as soon as you get up there, you are ready to fire. So go ahead and roll an attack. Now, I just want to clarify, is Mady incapacitated? No. She just then kind of I got sneak attack, baby. <laughs> <laughs> sneak attack? Rose. I'm sorry, maybe would you consider yourself an enemy of Bathos right now? Absolutely. Okay. Super enemy. <laughs> Rugs. Mortal enemies. <laughs> oh, I was so close. 19 plus 6, 25. Oh my gosh, Ooh. that definitely hits. <laughs> Fantastic. So we do this, and then we add one, two, three, four. All right, so that's 26 damage. Nice. And I want to say, let go of my friend. As you say that, you uh, aim the barrel right at uh, Bethos and you pull the trigger. This giant wave of energy just like, whoa, blasts out of bad news. And Bethos holds up his hand to block it, but is blasted uh, backwards into the portal. Um, <laughs> and could you, how much damage did you say you rolled? That was 26. Awesome. Um, I'm just going to do it like that. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, he is blasted backward into the portal. And you see Skuldana uh, uh, is furious that you've done that. Um, so uh, any bonus actions or anything? I used my bonus action. Okay, cool. So that is when uh, an awesome turn. So uh, now it is Anne's turn. Um one of the platforms that's 30 feet in the air, you see... Um, uh, Anne's alive, but Orpheus <laughs> exploded? Uh, and one of the dead, platforms... Yeah, what? You see... Was, um, Anne, Anne definitely exploded. You Anne exploded! <laughs> you see there, was Anne. A thing, there was a bomb in her mouth <laughs> that blew up a tunnel. Hear, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. she is fine. <laughs> Orpheus is not. Wait, Orpheus might show up undead here in a minute too, y'all. Yeah, so Orpheus got dragged right. away. Oh, so as as the you see Anne uh, come out of one of the portals above and uh, fall um, thirty feet and crash into the um, the ground of the of the roof below. Uh, as the smoke settles, you see uh, Orpheus is there. And she has a, uh, a a metal hand, and she's like, "Ooh, I knew this thing would come in handy." Uh, and she's she's pretty banged up and bloody, uh, and you see Anne uh, isn't disrepaired. Let's just put it that way. She's not looking good. Anne is dead. Um, so <laughs> don't worry, guys. She's dead. <laughs> she's like dead, dead. Like she's not dead. moving she's around. Dead. Dead. <laughs> like can't move right um so now I, I love how when we started this my turn? Car carmen was like hey you've got six of you in there and he's like but four of them are gonna be mine in like 10 seconds 
<laughs> it's Manny's okay. turn now. Okay. <sighs> I turn to win. Grab onto my belt. Okay. I trust you. Okay. I have I have a hole in my cloak. So I throw the hole down, which should make it so that I can go to anywhere within 100 feet. Yeah, where would I you like to go? <laughs> I, mean, I, I want to. Um, oh, I can pick? I didn't I know. Think I you thought you could walk over to me first, though, because I'm. I thought you I, were next to me. I was in gun range, so I'm not directly next to you. Okay, so I walk over to Wynn. I'm like, grab onto <laughs> my belt, because I got the, 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 you know, magic terrarium in one arm, and I'm like pulling the hole out of my cloak in the other. I flap the hole on the ground, and we like pop down. I want to go down to um, the hallway on the other end of that stairwell on the other side of the rubble yeah or like in the hallway so like the, so there's the okay, hallway and then there's imagine. the rubble and then there's like the other hallway that leads okay out of actually the... i want to go to the hallway this side of the rubble the 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 roof side of the okay, rubble. okay cool, 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 cool. cool yes i want to uh, go to where keith is okay oh, awesome so uh keith is. What'd and I say? wasn't trying to, but it's just what happened. <laughs> Tell him it was good. <laughs> so um, I want to go back where I was before I got snatched away. Sure thing. So you, um, when you blast Bathos into the portal, uh, maybe you run over uh, and you're like, grab my belt. And you grab uh, Wynn and throw down a portal and you ju both jump into it with the light. Um, and you appear uh, uh, back over to where you were before. Um so that's your turn. Would you like to do any bonus actions or anything like that? No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so that's your turn. Uh, Kondak is dead. Um, and now Fatima Rip. is going to go. Um, so Fatima rushes over to uh, the portal, and she has uh, this device that you all don't recognize, and she's holding it to the portal. Um, she's going to make an arcana check. Um, she's like, I don't know what this is, but... The readings are off the charts on this thing. Um, oh, so, she, so when she, she's she are cannot tell she she can't she can't ah! she, she can't tell I I cannot tell. Sorry, I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> so uh, now it's nice having you. It's Arya's turn. Uh, so, Arya, a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, what do you want to do? Sincerest apologies for the dog. Um, so I remember last turn, um, the darkness inside made me lose 10 hit points off of my max. Do I regain those? Um, go ahead and do a nature check. Oh my god, with, with I've, had, I've had a good nature stat this whole game and I've not been able to use it. <laughs> Come on. That is a 15. A 15? Awesome. So um, you feel the light from your fist um, flow through you. And before, where there was this dark uh, aura around you, you feel a light aura around you. And you feel your wings uh, heal, and they have this angelic glow. Um, and your hit point maximum returns to normal. Sweet. Okay, great. Given that, then I will... Um, hmm, what do I want to do? I guess I'm going to fly over. I'm going to fly over and attacks Goldana with the Fist of Light attack, which I goobered last time and does have a plus five modifier, but a 10 wouldn't have hit anyway. Okay, and that's a nat 20. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah! Go ahead and uh, roll uh, damage. Does that modify the damage in any way? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> you rolled double damage on that 20, so... So that be 6d10. Go ahead and go ahead and, and do it. <laughs> 12 oh d10, dang. Oh no, 6 total, because it should be 3. Okay. <laughs> 25. 25? Yeah! Oh, sorry, no, I lied. 
Uh, 31. Oh my gosh. Uh, Arya, you, um, as you see your friends return to safety, you um, take a moment to meditate and you feel at peace. You feel like you have exercised whatever darkness was within you and you know exactly who you are. And now that your master is gone, you know that you... Um, have finally ascended to the point where you are yourself a master. Um, And this newfound confidence fills you with a power that you haven't felt before. And with this angelic glow, you dash across the battlefield. And as you do, the um, dark mist dissipates as you move through it. Um, And with the power of the feather fist, you draw back and punch uh, right uh, into Skuldana's face. And with a a sound wave that echoes throughout all of Broken Rock, um, you see that her jaw breaks and she goes flying um, back into the portal. Um, And as she does so, the thrones um, and the um, altar that the thrones are on all crack. Um, as you uh, yeah. punch her uh, and send her flying. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> Arya's turn. Arya's having these, uh, these epic turns. That was for my master. <laughs> Hell yeah. So um, it is now Orpheus's turn. Um, Orpheus is going to... He's still in play. Okay. Um, Orpheus is going to... Uh, walk over to win and give you a big hug and she's gonna say i'm so sorry i i just thought that that was the best thing to do i didn't mean to scare you i thought you died i thought i lost every single one of my friends <coughs> from broken rock <laughs> you see uh <laughs> uh you um orpheus takes you by the hand and she's like i'm not going anywhere Okay. Please don't do anything stupid like that again. I didn't even want you to come on this fight. I don't want anything to happen to you. She says, uh, I couldn't let anything happen to you. We're going to do this together. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and Orpheus No is, more bombs. Orpheus is like, well, I do have a few left. Uh, And you see that she uh, opens her pockets and she has about three bombs in each. So six total. She's like, just in case we need them. (laughs) But don't be standing next to them when they explode. (laughs) Um, So so that's Orpheus's turn. Um, She's going to ready in action. um, And she is going to... um, throw a bomb if uh if she feels like win is in danger um <laughs> uh so okay cool, cool cool um uh so that was orpheus um before we go to marty uh i haven't been doing anything for Arya's skeleton jeremy john harmo schmidt um, so he's there, uh, but he just, um, he hasn't done anything because you haven't given him any orders yet, so. Um. I love this idea that Arya has a skeleton that she just doesn't remember. <laughs> so, as I you... can't remember his name or where he is or what he's doing. <laughs> as just an you, intern uh... that just gets lost in this company for six we, years. We never finished the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, so he was he's over there clapping <laughs> as you uh, punch Skuldana. Um And we're going to go to Marty. So Marty, uh, in this space between spaces, um, you see uh, it from if, one of the... Sure. If what happens, what I think is going to be happening, and I see the people I think I'm going to be seeing, I want to be patting my great axe into my other hand as they come through. So just continue what you're saying. <laughs> okay. So um, Bathos uh, comes flying into <laughs> the space between spaces, tumbling head over heel. Um, and soon after, uh, Skuldana does the same. Skuldana is looking hurt. Like, she is not looking good. Um, Bathos looks like he's scraped up a little bit, but he looks okay. Um, go ahead and give me a perception check with advantage. 
Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so that's 14. Okay. That's 14. Awesome. Respectable. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you see them come flying through uh, the portal, and um, they uh, are moving at a pretty fast velocity at first, and they become weightless uh, as they're in this space with you. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, is it possible to sneak in a weightless void? Uh, I mean, you can roll a stealth check with disadvantage. So... That isn't going to be necessary. The main thing is, I'm going to guess, uh, I'm trying to grab a prop to sort of vi visualize. Okay, I've got, I've got a big old book. Okay. Oh boy. So, I've got this. I start just shuffling through the weightless void, and I'm going to just, uh, I'm, I'm going to attack Skaldana in the weightless void. Awesome. Go for it. Uh, do, do, do. So, that it does a 13 hit. Uh, uh, one second, buffering, buffering. Uh, no, it does not. Okay, does a uh, 14 hit? <laughs> no, it does not. Does a 24 hit? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So uh, your rage is propelling you through this void, and it, you take a few swings to sort of get your bearings, but you come down and connect with the third swipe. That is 15, and I get an extra thing because I have a Mark of the Risen. My little uh, muscle pin uh, glows. I, I imagine that I don't really have a shirt, uh, so it's just stabbed directly into my chest, uh, and it's glowing <laughs> right now. Uh, and as I do one last attack, does an 18 hit. Absolutely. That is a 15. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. Um, Marty's finishing this fight himself. 15 plus... <laughs> I think I... Do I get another plus two on that? It might just be a fifth. It might just be 15. Yeah, you only add your modifier... Uh, or no, yeah, no, so it's just 15. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so you... Uh, <laughs> you're living up to your name, Marty Murder. So uh, you uh, swipe... It stands at... for a murder of crows, dude. <laughs> right. Uh, so you swipe the Skuldana, and um, you cut uh, one of her wings and rip it, uh, and you injure her really badly, um, and she's looking really hurt. Um, and you see, as you do so, uh, Bathos uh, looks at you, and he's like, I will have your soul. Um, so, gotta catch me first. No, no it's, no. it's, it's Skuldana's turn now. Um, so she's oh, going she to, alive? She's still standing? She, she's still alive, yeah. Um, I, didn't I just do like almost 30 damage? Guys, it's the last fight. <laughs> she's alive. <laughs> she's gonna attack you three Fine. times. Um, so she rolled a natural 20, no, um, a no. 24, Pardon? and a 22. Uh, uh wait, what? All of those hit, it's, right? Excuse me? Uh, what? Uh, that, yeah, uh, all those hit. Marty, we're not near you. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong I just hear faintly, we're not near you. It's like, but you're with me in my heart. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> so is the sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so that's not very good, actually. Good. <laughs> We don't know what that means. Usually I hear awesome, great, that's fantastic. Yeah. Her first it's not, attack, that's not really good, actually. Her first attack does 19 damage. Um, her second... Ooh. Sorry. Her second attack... Uh, does 26 damage. That puts me into uh, unconscious state. Oh. Ooh, okay, so uh, so then the third attack is an automatic fail uh, death save. Oh, actually, no. Is it a... F so, I'll tell you this. I didn't pick... I didn't say what order they were in. If the crit was the last one, it'd be two fails. I'll say the crit was the first attack. And and this is... Uh, and this is the just one of the regular attacks. So, it's only one fail death save. Um... But so Skuldana pulls out this uh, whip. So I say, you got to catch me first. 
And then she just like stabs herself. Yeah, you say you gotta catch me first, and she pulls out this oh. um, whip that has spikes around it. It's like a um, a thorn whip, uh, mm. Karama style, and uh, it has this dark energy around it. And she uh, slashes you with it twice, and then wraps it around your neck and uh, yanks it off, and like it cuts you really badly, and so you're unconscious. Um, and uh, so Marty is down in the void, unbeknownst to anyone. Um, now it is Marty. Do they get a general sense that I'm in that I'm <laughs> not in a good place in the void? I mean, they saw you teleport when you were in the hallway, but nobody knows where you went. Um, so now it's Morrow's turn. Um, Morrow is going to uh, appear. Um, where, where is everybody right now? So Arya's on near the thrones. Mady mm. and Wynn. Okay, yeah, Mady and Wynn, you're by the stairs. Morrow is going to appear next to you. Um, and he has... Uh, a puppy he's decided to be good now yeah uh he appears next to you and has actually Sorry, no, never mind fireworks in my alley which i don't know if you can hear or not that's random <laughs> yep um actually it's not been going on for every day for the past two weeks <laughs> Scratch that, actually. Uh, so Marl just appears next to you, and Great. he's going to... Uh, uh, Matey, could you give me a wisdom saving throw, please? All right, what, is, what am I supposed to... How does that so work? So roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier to it. Oh, if it's a saving throw, you might also be proficient. I don't know if you're proficient in deck saving throws. Um... Or wisdom, sorry. I was looking at my own deck saving throw. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't there, understand. There's a thing that says saving throws. It's, I think, above. Are you looking at D&D Beyond or your character sheet printed out? Character sheet printed out. Okay, so I think it's above all of your skills. There's something above that that says saving throws. Got it. Yes. Okay. Are, are you proficient in wisdom? Plus zero. Okay, great. <laughs> so what did you roll? An eight. Okay, uh, so matey. Uh, as Morrow appears, you see he um, uh, looks at you and he says, you're mine. And you feel like uh, someone turned out all of the lights and you are suddenly, um, you, it's like you're having uh, an out-of-body experience and you're watching yourself and you have been charmed by Morrow. Um and now it is Keith's turn, and uh, Keith is about to do some gnarly stuff because I feel like he's just been on the sideline for a while. Oh, come on, bud! I just need you to roll a little higher. Okay, cool. Uh, so uh, Keith is going to. Okay, so. <laughs> come on, Keith. Keith is. Uh, he sees Mara reappear. And uh, Charm Matey. And Keith is going to uh, grab Morrow in a grapple um, and uh, take him towards the edge of the building. No. Um, and. Dude, not. Uh, Wait, he's taking him up the stairs. <laughs> no, so like you're on the top of the palace, so he's walking okay, towards okay. the edge of the. He's gonna throw him off the roof. Um, uh, Morrow has wings. Uh, so. No, his wings are singed. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah his wings are yeah. singed. Wings are singed. Um, they're gone. Cool, but that's good news. because there, there was an extra step, and I was like, he doesn't have enough actions for that. So, in that case, uh, thank you for reminding me. Keith goes to the edge with Morrow, <gasps> and. Um, he looks at Mady and he's like, "No, no, I'm don't. I'm sorry." And he jumps off of the <gasps> building <gasps> with Maro, um, and we shouldn't have told him that Maro doesn't have wings. They disappear uh, off of the building. So um, that is Keith's turn. Uh, we're gonna go back to the top of the round. It's Bathos's turn now, <sighs> and um, uh, Marty, you have been rendered unconscious by Skuldana. Bathos is going sure, to sure was. <laughs> he's going to attack you. Um, no, he's going to try to finish you off. 
so he's going to take his first attack. Um, and uh, he's successful. Uh, and his second attack is a natural one. Uh, so he doesn't hit you on the second uh. attack. Um, I'm going to say that uh, that he hits you once. Um, so you have an additional depth uh, save failure, so you have two death save failures, and because he missed the second time on a natural one, I'm going to say that he uh, uh, loses control, like as because he's uh, weightless and he's he's too far away to attack you a third time. Um, so Wait, does that means he's left my uh, engagement range? Can I, while unconscious, get an attack of opportunity? <laughs> uh, yeah. So you you uh, your body floats uh, further into the void. <laughs> so, <laughs> what so, an opportunity you had! Uh, it was a great <laughs> opportunity. So when uh, it's your turn uh, now. Okay. So I just watched um, Keith jump over the side of the. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I I don't have a grappling hook. Like I don't have anything that can help him. We need to finish this. And I, I know where Bathos went. I I run back to the portal and I jump in. Awesome. So uh as you're saying this, uh you're like, we need to finish this. Uh and you're you run and dive into the portal as you come into this space between space. Um you can you can go ahead and roll a perception check uh, with advantage if you would like. I would love to do that. Now, how are we on a twenty four? Perfect. Great. So, <laughs> as you uh, come into this space between spaces, you see Bathos and uh, Skuldana floating weightlessly. You also see Marty's unconscious body. Marty is looking very hurt, and you see Arya's uh, shadow. Um, about 30 feet below where you currently are floating uh, as you become weightless and Arya's shadow is being consumed uh, by this uh, colossal monstrosity uh, within the void. Uh, it has about a thousand teeth. It's uh, about 200 feet wide uh, and you can't tell how long it is. It has uh, about 60 or 70 tentacles and uh, four claws for arms and is slowly making its way um, toward the large portal um, at the top of the... Where I just came in. No, no. you. Uh, no, the large portal that's in the middle of the room Right, but uh, so that's you the one I, in, is that the one I knocked Bathos into? Mm -mm, you can't. He, oh. It was through a different portal that was behind. Oh, okay. Him. Then I jumped in. Yes, you're mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bad. Okay. Um, I am going to move, try and swim, weightless fly, astronaut fly over to Marty. Awesome. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, athletics or acrobatics. Yes. Well, that's a 15. Excellent. So you're able to um, easily adapt to uh, this uh, plane. And you feel like it's because you spent so much time changing your form and adapting to um, new forms that you're easily able to move through this. And you get over to Marty. I'm going to smush a good berry into his mouth. <laughs> I'm going to pour the good melon juice into his unconscious mouth. Okay, go ahead and roll a d20 to see how much HP. Marty gets back. As a 16. Awesome. All of so, my rolls from here out are going to be terrible because I just rolled real well. <laughs> Marty, you get 20 HP back uh, as a good melon um, is force fed to you. And I'm holding him up by his shoulders and I'm like, what are you doing in here? Uh, I, I said he had to catch me and then he caught me. He caught me bad. Okay. Um... So, feeding good melon is bonus action? Yes. Okay, then I am going to... Does that mean I'm no longer in de near death state? That is correct. You are back up with 20 HP. Dang, okay, cool. And now I have two remaining good melons. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, do, I feel like this big shadow creature do i feel like i could hurt it i don't know you can most certainly try i'm gonna shoot it with my oh, what i think really hard get out of the void I, I don't know that i can move anymore 
Yeah, you Bro, just see I made a lot of running motion to get here. Rose um, will run our bathos into its face as a distraction. Or or shoot them in the face. Yeah, I guess... As a distraction. I guess I would think that Bathos is maybe controlling the monster, so I'm going to shoot him with my short bow, because I need to still reload bad news. Okay, so go ahead and roll an attack with disadvantage, since this is like a weightless uh, plane of existence. Oh, that one was so good. 14. So you uh, fire off an arrow, and it it's, uh, shoots off at first, and then like floats... Uh, weightlessly away all right well it was worth a try all right it's my turn so that's win's turn uh so as the rest of you um you see keith uh take uh had had taken maru and jumped off the side of the building um and you hear a loud thundering sound um kind of like rushing wind and um you see Fatima, who has been like tinkering with a device near the portal this whole time, uh, uh, lifts up her goggles and looks up. And she's like, well, it's about time. And these giant uh, airships um, start to uh, ascend up towards the top of the palace. And you see uh, uh, um, a wood elf um, who's wearing uh, a hood and she pulls the hood back and Arya, you recognize uh, this person as your best friend Thea and uh, she is there with um, an army of uh, Zondarian soldiers and they're on this uh, mechanical flying contraption that has four uh, giant pistons that have large fans on the top um, and a um, middle platform that's like a shipping crate that everyone's in um, that's kind of rounded. And she's standing on the top of it. And next to her, you see uh, Keith, and he's like holding his shoulder. And uh, Maro's like all chained up, uh, <laughs> looking really disappointed. And um, she, uh, Thea looks at you all and she's like, did you drop something? Uh, pointing to, to Keith. And they fly over to come assist you all. Um, you always did have nice timing. <laughs> Matey, it's your turn now. I mean, I'm still possessed, right? Uh, no. Uh, actually, after Keith's turn, uh, I forgot to mention that. You are no longer possessed um, because he took Maru out of the fight. Okay. You should ask Keith what happened to Maru and if he's dead or not. What's that? We should find out if Maru is dead or not. No, he's not dead. He's he's chained he up, chained up. Uh, oh. on his knees on the next to Keith on the, on the airship. Yeah, I, don't know how I just missed that. Okay. okay, I hold up the orb and I go. Does anybody know how to work this thing? You see, they all look around. And they're like, "What? What is that?" Okay, all right. So I'll tell you this. Uh, so mechanically, if you'd like to try to use the orb, well, you can make an investigation check to see if you understand how to use it, and you can make it with advantage. Okay. Okay, let me see. Whoop, whoop, I went to the wrong tab. Okay. 16. Awesome. So as you hold it up and you're like, does anybody know how to use this? It feels really warm in your hands and uh, your eyes start to glow um, uh, uh, in emulsive bright yellow. And you suddenly see everything. You see the life of every human that ever lived before you. You see the merge. You see Bathos and his band of heroes fighting um, the Sovereign, the terrorist group that was taking, trying to take over Yashan in the past. You see uh, Bathos trying to make reform and uh, being turned down by a council of uh, humanoid type beings. You see him forming this army of the dead and getting these necromantic powers. And you also see uh, two potential futures for yourself. You see one where your actions bring back all of the humans. You see another where whatever you decide to do um, erases all humanoid life as you know it. Okay, so I'm, I definitely want to choose A. Don't know how to do that yet. 
I have a feeling we need to fish our friends out of the void first. But all I know, I just know Wynn is in the void. So I need to figure out how to get her out of there. Um, any ideas, everybody? I have rope. Fishing rod. <laughs> okay. All right. So are we still are we still in battle? Okay. Smash the orb. <laughs> you've you've got you've got a rowboat in your inventory and the void is a weightless space. <laughs> I also have rope. <laughs> okay. I can't go into the void. So, um <laughs> the surprise on Wynn's face, like, oh, you can't. Why can't you go to the void? I can't go into the I'm the last human. My, this is the key. It's right oh, here. I'm not going to, like, jump into the middle of all that okay, stuff. Yeah, follow your like, heart. I can just rip the key out and be like, sure. what's up, everybody? And sure, sure, sure. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's B, trying to choose toss A. toss the bag of holding into the void and use it with a rope to try to fish out. Done, in. Okay, so I crawl that would, that, would be, that would be a double void universe thing, and that might cause issues. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I got nothing else. Uh, you know what, no, I'm gonna go over to Fatima. Oh, okay. Okay, Aria, great idea, but the, no. Okay, I go over to <laughs> Fatima. I'm like, you got anything that you can like use to fish out our friends here? Uh, you see that she, um it's like uh and she like pulls her pockets out um and they're empty and she's like well the only thing i have is this uh she takes off a ring and uh she like squeezes it in her palm and, and like places on the ground it turns into a mech suit and then falls apart um and she's like oh man i guess it got damaged in the fight and uh then she uh pulls out um some hemp rope and she's like will this help <laughs> Sure, might as well. All right, so I can, take the rope and... Can Michael 1 and Michael 2 help? You could attach the end, one end to Michael 1 or Michael 2 and send them through the void yourself. Can they obey me? You see them oh, yeah, walk over and they're like, we have not seen our master in some time. Uh, we would be willing to retrieve him. Oh, oh man, I really thought you were going to say I was your no, master now. No, That'll work. Uh, That's cool. No, no but it's also, okay. like, there's been plenty of times where it's like, they had to bring you home drunk and you had them get you some snacks and stuff like they, they listen. Okay. I hand them the rope. I'm like, go fish out our friends. Would you, uh, they look at the rope and then they look at each other and they throw the rope into the portal. Um, uh, like the whole thing, they throw the whole thing into the portal. Yes. That's what um, I thought you said. And, yes. uh, <laughs> and then they, um, are like, how long does this fishing take? Fantastic. Okay, Excellent. can you go into the portal, go put hands on Wynn, and maybe Marty, if he's in there, we don't really know. Can you grab him and bring him back? Uh, they jump into the void. And um, as they jump into the void, uh, we're just going to resolve this on Mady's turn, and then this will be the end of your turn. So they jump into the void, and as they do so... Um, Great. You, I this orb. I have another job. Uh, yeah, I know. I know you do. You're doing great. Marty and Wynn, you see <laughs> that this dark energy, um, it want? starts to go into uh, their bodies no! as soon as they enter into I, the void. I uh, hope Fee's upgrade made a difference. Uh, and they start to convulse and then they explode. Ah! Um, and the core... <clears throat> that's inside both of them you see that the cores are the only thing that remain um and those uh start to to float down toward the beast uh what one question considering they exploded metal shrapnel etc right by bathos and skaldana can you throw me a damage bone you killed two of my friends <laughs> let's see uh so that's the three and that's a 14. Uh, so as they explode, the shrapnel shoots out. Um, and uh, Bethos uses his body to shield Skuldana. Uh, oh, his okay. scales are uh, really hard, so the metal doesn't uh, pierce his scales. Um, so that was Mady's turn. Um, now it's Fatima's it's turn. So <laughs> uh, and Fatima is going to uh, rush over to the ship. Um, and... Uh, 
and say, um, I think I have an idea, but I need some time. So she rushes into the ship. Um, and now it's Arya's turn. Uh, what would you like to do? Remember to order Jeremy to do something at some point, if you'd like. I tie the rope around Jeremy's spine and ask him to go in. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy looks at you and he salutes and then he like walks over and jumps into the void. Uh, as he does so, um, you see that uh, when this skeleton comes into the void with the rope tied around his rib uh, and he reaches out to grab you. Do you do you try to resist? I mean, I, I assume you would recognize Jeremy. Do like, I recognize? I mean, he's a. I guess he's just a skeleton. Well, Aria, did you give is him? Is it like Jeremy a or is it John? It's Justin. It's bro. James. Okay. It's Jacob, Josh. Yeah. Um. I no, don't think I don't. So, but, but there is a rope. Yeah, I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna sort of trust the situation. <laughs> sure. It does kind of stink of us, doesn't it? Wait, okay. I'm gonna be like. Grab Marty. You did just see Michael One and Michael Two come through, so you must imagine yes. we're trying to Yes, it get does you. feel like they've sent all of the expendable party members. So, <laughs> uh, the Jeremy John looks at you, and uh, you say, "Grab Marty," and, and he like kind of floats sideways to course correct, and then uh, floats over to you, Marty, and goes to grab you, um, and. Uh, He's, he's kind of small, so he's not able to get his arms all the way around you, but he has a hold of you, um, and he starts to uh, pull you back. Uh, he's a lot of his movement getting to you, so he won't be able to pull you all the way back out, but you Real. get... That's, that's rad. It, uh, if, oh, if anything, I imagine gonna... that it stabilizes me so that any attacks I do in this void, uh, I wouldn't have to be rolling at a disadvantage. Uh, Can you grab this... Wynn on the way out? So, Arya, you said you're going to reel them in? Yeah. Okay, uh, Arya reels you back in, so uh, uh, Marty and Jeremy are now I, back in the... Did you want to... Uh, I don't know if I want to be dragged. I, I've, got the, oh. I've got the Berserker Rage. I've got oh. some melons in my pocket. Marty, you're just trying to close the portal. Uh, so, uh, to Marty's dismay, I, you're dragged out of the portal. You can always <laughs> go back in. I'm, I'm just um, like... Uh, ah. So now it's Orpheus' turn. Uh, yeah, she yeah. is going to run over to the ship as well with Fatima. Um, and she looks at you, Wynn, and she's like, I'm going to help Fatima. We have to figure out what to do about these portals. And I'm not there because I'm in a void. Right. <laughs> she says that to uh, Arya. She's like, hey, I'm going to go help Fatima. Uh, do I hear this? Can I speak back to them? Uh, uh, yes, because you're there also. Um, yeah. Uh, to to uh, to Orpheus, Orpheus, right? Yeah, I yeah. just yeah. yell. I can close the portals. Just get our friends out of there. Uh, well, I don't really know if there's anything I can do about that. It looks like your skeleton friend has it handled, and Jeremy's there, like <laughs> waving uh, next to you, Marty. Uh, for, and Orpheus turn. rushes into the the ship. Uh, so now, Marty, <sighs> it's your turn. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeremy drug you out of the portal. If you wish to go back into the portal, you can do that. Uh, what would you like to do? I look at everyone. I look at, first of all, I want to give Jeremy a big old hug because he deserves it. Uh, uh, you hug him and you hear some of his bones start to creak, but uh, he, he seems appreciative and like gives you a tap. Oh. So here's the thing. As I was dragging out, my attention was caught by the shadow creature that was being, that looks like Arya that was being consumed by the beast did that was that was where the screams was coming from right the screams were elder son okay the elder son had already died uh he wasn't at first but, but then he died uh, uh, as, die. as, uh you, yeah. you mentioned that as maybe was being dragged past the portal you that maybe heard the the, 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 the beast roaring uh okay yeah. that was beast roaring so did the beast manage to consume i'm looking I see this shadow creature. I see this weird thing. Did the beast manage to consume the shadow creature before, uh, before I got pulled out of the void? Uh, it was in the process of doing so, so not completely. Is it still in the process of doing so? Uh, most likely, yeah. I, I'll say at the end of this round, it'll well on its turn, 
uh, it'll have consumed it. We can't beat this thing, but I'm, I feel an affinity for this creature. I'm not going to leave it behind. Uh, I just look at Jeremy and everyone assembled and I say, I'm sorry. And I dive back through the portal. Awesome. Uh, so you jump ah! back in. Uh, and what do you do as soon as you get back uh, on the other side of things? I immediately start swimming towards the shadow creature. Awesome. So, um, Wait, as but you didn't, Ooh. you didn't know it was Arya. You didn't I, see it. It, lo it looks like Arya. I mean, it to be like fair, with wings. to be fair, nobody saw Arya's shadow uh, thing except Arya. Um, but, but yeah, you all have an idea that it's it's related to her in some way because of the resemblance. So, as you're making your way through this void, you see the souls, uh, some that are heading towards the light, some that are falling into the pit of fire, some that are being created, others that are being destroyed all around you. And then you see this beast, this creature, uh, an unearthly horror that you've never seen before, uh, dripping black ooze and in ink it's the same mist that that is coming out of the portal which seems to be uh around this creature's body and as you swim toward it you see uh aria's shadow uh reaches out to you uh with a uh look of desperation on its face marty mother of god do not fuse with my shadow creature <laughs> Get out of the portal! What are you hey, doing? Uh, nobody else is there. It's just Marty. What are you gonna I'm do? Well, when is there? Really, I know. Feels. I know what? this is a stupid idea, but we can't leave it. We can yes. absolutely leave it. You didn't I even come back for the Michaels. It. You came back for a shadow. What? What happened to the Michaels? Their cores are right there. <laughs> I'll get those on the way back. I grab. No. I should have closed the portal. Sorry, when I should have just closed it. You just count me as a loss. It's fine. Well, you wouldn't get the okay, Jamal. So, and get Ma out. Marty, what are you gonna do on your turn? I guess I should have. I'm trying to. Is there a way I can try to save this creature? Uh, it's it's reaching out to you. Um, would you like to? What would you like to do? I'm seeing a lot of messages in the chat. I'm gonna check those real quick. You don't need to. Ignore, you ignore don't the chat. Oh, it's <laughs> too late. It's too late. So Marty, you reach I, out your I hand. Reach, I reach out my hands to to grab the shadow creature. You uh, touch fingers, and oh my God. Uh, as you as you are reaching for one another and touch fingers, um, you feel uh, this darkness uh, starting to seep into you. Uh, when you touch his finger. Uh, it's like black ooze from around it latches onto you and starts to seep into your skin. Uh, half of the creature, uh, it li kind of liquefies out of the beast's uh, uh, maw and it uh, goes into you. You feel um, a burning darkness inside of you and your hit point total is cut in half, your hit point max. Um, so whatever your maximum was, take that to have, and that's your new hit point max. Um, but you feel this dark power inside of you now. Uh, can I swim towards the Michael 1 and 2 cores? Uh, so you can get halfway there because you use a lot of your movement so far. So you can get halfway there. Um, I, do ha I do have a lot of movement as a barbarian. I have uh, 10 more feet than usual. Oh, okay. So then you can get there uh, and, and reach the cores if you would like. Uh, with this thing sort of uh, meaningfully messing me up, uh, I'm typing into D and D Beyond the override, and dang, it hurts. Uh, I swim painfully towards the uh, cores and uh, grab them, uh, and I kind of give I give Win a look like, what what else could I do? Why did you? Literally anything. Why did Literally you come back anything in? Else. I could be out. Why did you jump back in? All right. Uh, so so that's Marty's turn. Um, so you have the cores now. Um, it is now Skuldana's turn. Uh, so Skuldana sees all of this happening, and uh, does she, she laugh at us? Is laughing a free act? No, she looks terrified <laughs> actually, um, and she's like, "What is that?" Uh, and you see Bathos uh, is just kind of floating there, and he's like, it's salvation. 
Uh, oh. And uh, Skuldana uh, books it out oh. of the portal. Um, and you see, uh, those of you who are topside, you see Skuldana come flying out of one of the portals. Um, and uh, and she's attempting to flee. Um, it's Keith's turn. Uh, Keith is hurt pretty bad. Um, he's going Sit to this one out, buddy. Uh, he's going to come over to Mady, and he's going to say, "Hey, I just wanted to say like things got kind of weird earlier, but I love you, and I don't want things to be weird because I care about you, and that's what I was trying to say. But sometimes I'm not good with words." Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm sorry things are weird. It's a weird time. Maybe we can like talk about this when, you know, this is all over. You see, he's like, yeah, that would be nice. Um, and uh, he uh, takes you by the hand. Um, he's like, let's finish this. Yeah, um, let's do it. And so we're going to go back to the top of the round. It's Bathos' turn. So, uh, I, hate him. I hate him so much. <laughs> Bathos, I mean, in the void, you see he all of this. He could have been shot in the void, y'all. He could be gone. The <laughs> void could be done. It could be over. Sorry. I'm all so of sorry. this dark so energy sorry. starts to flow into him <laughs> as he's in the void. And uh, he, uh, when you're still in there with him, and, and Marty, Marty as well. Marty is too now. And you see his eyes glow a dark purple. Uh, and that, that aura that's around the beast is around him too. And you see he looks at the portal where Skuldana went and he says, you can't run away now. And he reaches his hand out and this black ichor like vine shoots out of his hand. It comes out of the portal and wraps around Skuldana and wraps her up like in a web. And it snatches her back into the portal. Uh, and, and he pulls her in and he's like, uh, you were a part of this until we're done. Uh, and, he's a horrible partner and yeah, yeah, um, good. you see uh, she looks at him and she's like what happened to you uh, and uh, you see as he talks uh, the beast is moving its mouth um, and he says um, I am the sovereign of death and all will bow before me life shall be my feast I shall feed upon the living and turn your world to ash. Um, and um, uh, Marty, you see that the beast is um, is somehow um, controlling Bathos, and it's uh, speaking through him. Um, oh, so it's not the other way around. Mm -mm. Uh, so that is... Oh, I, I skipped the beast turn. I'm sorry. Um, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna the beast turn uh, since it's controlling Bathos anyway. We're gonna say that they have the same turn. Uh, so the beast is going to attempt to attack you, Marty, since you're so close to it. Um, I I swear I'm pretty far away from it. You went to you touch the, up to it uh, in the first place. yeah. You went to touch the thing that was in its mouth, and then you went to grab the uh, cores that were falling towards it. So you're within thirty feet, and its reach is pretty substantial. Um, does a 25 hit? Yes. Okay, and then that's a 23, and that's a 20. Um, so, Marty. Can you uh, with these rolls, by the way? The you beast your life. wraps its I'm uh, so sorry, tentacle man. around you, and um, it's going to put you uh, in its mouth and try to eat you. Um, so... Uh, so uh, actually, that should be an opposed things. grapple. Uh, so uh, sure, go ahead and and uh, do a opposed grapple check. That's a thirteen. Awesome. So the beast grabs his uh, tentacles around you and grabs you, <laughs> and uh, then it puts you in its mouth. Um, and you are going to take. Okay. We all know he only has 20. He has 20 hit points. 20 hit points. have enough dice. Oh, no, he has 10. What do you mean? He has 10. No, no. no. Oh, right. Max. max. But he also right. lost his max is now half. So if this beast does a lot of damage, he could instantly die from this. Uh, so you take 28 points of damage on the first bite. Um, on the first bite? Yeah. yeah. So it, 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 what do you think was going to happen, it's, Marty? It's uh, an interdim interdimensional being, uh, like this horror. So it, it grabs you and puts you in its mouth. It bites down on you. You take 28 points of damage. Are you still alive? 
Uh, I am unconscious. Okay, so I had, I had twenty HP. Uh, it grabs you uh, and bites down on you, knocking you unconscious for its second attack. Oh dear um, God! Uh, hey, yeah. what's your max hit points now, Marty? Forty. Uh, okay. That's what's it, you had eighty. I, I had seventy nine. I was a beefy boy. Yeah, okay. So Marty, um, uh, so this is. I happen. wanted to share. I I thought the shadow creature had good intentions. Like there was something like. I wanted to save it. So this is what's gonna happen. So you are in the shadow creature's mouth, and mm-hmm. you've been knocked unconscious. Um, yep. And you're in a very familiar place. Um, the space between space that you've been floating in. Um, you are now in a house in that same space um, and you see your dad is standing next to you and the shadow creature, the shadow version of Arya is standing there with you also and you see uh, they say um, you tried to be a hero and there's nothing wrong with that Um, and the shadow creature turns to you and uh, puts his hands on your shoulders and says now let me save you and uh marty you're as the creature opens his mouth to devour you uh your body is shot out of the creature's mouth and uh the shadow the shadow uh has has flung you away uh and it is in there with uh michael one and michael two's cores and they explode in the creature's mouth as it uh closes its mouth the explosion knocks um uh, Marty and Wynn and Skuldana and Bathos all outside of the portal. Oh, thank you. And you all take... Um, I'll take it! <laughs> <laughs> you all take 24 points of damage as you're blasted out of the... Um, uh, ooh, actually. Uh, yeah, so you take 24 damage as you're blasted out of the portal and you see... Um, uh, uh, as the blast happens, um, Skuldana is eviscerated in the blast, and uh, Bathos is badly injured as he's blasted outside of the portal. Um, and the mist that was surrounding him um, starts to leave uh, his form and and ooze its way back into the the void. Um, so that was the beast turn. <laughs> So, so that that additional twenty four health uh, change does that just create another uh, a death save failure? Yeah, or so you happened? have two death save failures right now. Okay. Um, oh, I thought there was only one bite that actually landed. Yeah, but then you got blown yeah. up. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so now, wait it... does does the bite that sorry to to, to litigate, but no does the, the bite that put me unconscious because that was the bite that landed? Does that actually count as a failure as well yes uh so so the first attack was the grapple the second was the bite the third would have been Mm. uh to finish you off um but the the shadow sacrificed itself to save you uh uh in its stead so uh you your heroism caused the shadow to have a change of heart um so uh that was the beast what'd you say aria because it was evil Uh, so, uh, that was, that was the beast turn. Now it's going to be, uh, Wynn's turn. I'm going to skip Bathos because let's say that was one. Again? <laughs> Again, Marty? And I slam another melon into his face. Awesome. Do um, I deserve a melon at this point? I'm no, not sure I if I deserve a melon. I don't deserve a melon. I mean... <laughs> Also, canonically, I'm pretty sure this is the same day we resurrected you. <laughs> we sacrificed my dad for you. I'm pretty sure this is the same day. So, I have so regardless the... of the guilt trips, <laughs> um, okay, so yes. go ahead and roll, roll a d20 14, to see how much he gets 20 HP. back. Okay, you get 20 HP back. <sighs> um, and so when uh, it's your turn, do I still have the permanently cut HP? Uh, you do not, uh, since uh, since the shadow <sighs> is gone. Um, I don't deserve it back. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Bonus action save Marty's life again. Uh, and then I would like to do a changeling check on 
<laughs> you don't have to roll. Uh, he's not a changeling. Uh, God, the horse he, is dumb. He was. Then I want to stab him. <laughs> you want to stab the horse or bad? <laughs> no, the horse I would like, never okay. stab Tony. Okay, cool. Tony's not here. Cool, cool, cool. Tony got all here. my head. So since Vathos is prone, you have advantage on this attack. Does he look almost dead? No, I mean he looks hurt, uh, right. but he looks he looks okay this for the dude. most part. But for the rule of cool, would you say I could kill him with my shadow dagger and he might disappear into the room? <laughs> it's fine. I stab uh, him no, with my I'll tell you what, if you roll a 19 or a 20, the shadow dagger is going to work. Don't, no. Yeah, but I don't, it'll be useless forever. Uh, it's the last episode. The last episode. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> Okay. We all come tumbling out of the portal and you just shove a melon in my face then try to stab him with a shadow dagger. Now, <laughs> the first one was a 15. Mm -hmm. Plus your modifier, right? Yeah, I mean 15. Oh, wait, if I can get a to a 19 or 20. Yeah, with your attack. I thought you needed me to roll a 19 or 20. No. Oh, yeah. 15 plus 6 is 21, baby. Okay. Uh, so, uh, when um, you are blasted out of the Shadow Realm and you are singed um, and you see Bathos is lying there and the darkness oozes off of him and you take the uh, dagger that you have and you uh, jam it right uh, in his, <laughs> you stab him in the back. Well, is he on his front? I stab yeah. whatever part is within reach. Okay, cool. You stab him in the back, and um, you see as you do, he's like, <gasps> and like all of this darkness flows out of him, uh, oh, and it good. immediately gets sucked into the pit, uh, and his body starts to decay, uh, and it turns into sand and uh, is blown away in the wind. Bathos yeah, is dead. I want... <laughs> My condolences, Skaldana. Um, She's gone. She is dead. She's she was right? disintegrated uh, yeah. in the explosion. Um, and I'm just deliriously saying that <laughs> to, s to space. The air. So uh, you all are essentially out of combat now. All the combatants have been killed or, or captured. Um, and and uh, Fee comes up to you, matey, and he's like, only you can stop this. Um, I've been trying to stop this, but I was waiting for my turn. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you should ask Atima about the orb. Uh, what'd you say, Arya? We should ask Atima about the orb. Yeah, she didn't know. So, I, asked, I did a general, like, everybody, and nobody showed up. I'm sorry, uh, Mady. Uh, so when killed Bathos, he's dead. Uh, so let's just go to Mady now. Uh, what would you like to do? All right. Well, I mean, I feel I have this orb. Now my friends are out of the hole. So I'm going to try to see what I can do. So I put my hands in the orb and try to make it work. Um, so as you touch the orb, um, go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw. Sixteen. Awesome. So uh, you hold the orb, and a bright light begins to glow from it, and uh, all of the portals begin to close around you. Um, and uh, as they do so, you hear the beast uh, cry out, and um, its claw uh, reaches through the middle portal and uh, crashes on the ground as it tries to oh, pull itself no. out. And you see these tentacles are coming out of the portal and, and waving all over the place. Um, Is there so anything we can do about that? You can most certainly try. Uh, so, uh, uh, Mady, as you uh, are holding on to the orb, it seems like uh, there's something more you need to do to close the middle portal. If, if there's anything, if any, I want to prepare an action that if any tentacle or claw gets near Mady, I want to attack it. Awesome. I want to create a human, well, a changeling, tiefling, <laughs> Eric Oker shield. Okay, so between the monster and Mitty. Can I ask? Can I ask? Like, does anybody have any other ideas? I'm trying to figure out how to finish this. This is like we're almost Ooh. there. I also put my hands on the orb. Okay, uh, so um, 
as the creature comes out, the beast comes out of this portal, um, the the airship lands and uh, Fatima, Orpheus, uh, Keith, everyone uh, starts fighting the creature, slashing uh, at its tentacles, protecting you, matey. Uh, Wynn and Marty are fighting as well. And Arya comes over and places her hand on the orb with you. And as she does, uh, the light that was surrounding or Arya, the aura, shoots into the orb through her hand. And uh, you both feel this power course through you. And, uh, and there's an explosion of light. Um, and uh, as the explosion of light happens... Uh, Maybe you are in this uh, empty void uh, of uh. whiteness, and it's just you and Fee. And uh, he's standing there, um, but he looks different. He's wearing like uh, these um, robes that you've never seen him wear before. Um, and he has a, a pin on his uh, collar, and it's like a, a yin yang, um, except both sides of it are. Um, black and um and he's like well i i guess you did it um both of us have finally found our destinies but there's still one thing that remains to be seen are you going to bring the humans back because if you do you'll have to sacrifice yourself Now, when you say bring the humans back, do you mean like, like they get to live or they're like zombies or what's this deal? You see, he smiles at you and he's like, always clarify with the genie. Uh, and he touches his nose. Uh, he walks over and uh, holds out his hand. And he says, let me show you. Okay, I take his hand. You take his hand. And as you do, you see a future uh, where Yashan is thriving. Uh, there are humans and you see adventurers, you see uh, politicians, you see blacksmiths, you see sailors, you see people um, living their lives. And you see uh, Yashan has fully blossomed into the world that it used to be. And you see Broken Rock has become the island of open arms again. And there are uh, there's essentially a safe haven there for everyone. Um and you see that you come back to this uh, void with Fee, and he says, that's what you could have. Well, what your friends could have, at least. But everything comes at a price, unfortunately. My magic isn't powerful enough to make it happen without a sacrifice. So, I mean, I kind of like the world the way it is. And this isn't just about myself. I'm just saying, like, why would I, like, it? something happened i'm not going to artificially change it like why why would we want to bring the humans back you see fee looks at you and it's like i don't know i'm not a human but i just thought that maybe you would want there to be other people like you i already have people like me my friends so okay so what happens if i don't bring the humans back are we gonna like still be fighting skeletons and all that business or is all of that over with so as you say that i already have people like me my friends uh fee smiles and he says sounds like you've already made your choice what will happen if you don't bring the humans back is what's happening now you'll be an adventurer there'll be heroes there'll be villains there'll be good times and bad ups and downs just like there's always been yeah, okay, in, yes, that one. Uh, Fee smiles and touches um, his pendant. And as he does, uh, one of the sides is black, turns to white. And they spin around for a while, and there's a flash of light again. Um, and made your back on the roof of the palace with everyone. And the portal uh, closes as the beast is uh, swallowed into it. Um, and uh, there's silence for a moment. And then the portal explodes into a pillar of light. Um, 
and you see that uh, as it does so, the land around you begins to uh, be replenished. The dark mist that was flowing out into Broken Rock is all destroyed and dissipates, and uh, the clouds that were covering the sky are gone as well. Um, and then the pillar of light slowly fades away, and Fee is gone, but you all uh, are there, and you've saved Yashan. Man, I died it. like three we times. Again. <laughs> so Aria! You... Oh, boss! <laughs> Thank you, Aria. So I want to tell them what happened. And so I tell them what, what I just went through with Fee. By the way, first of all, I start with Fee, total baby god, kind of awesome. What? I told know. you he was amazing. Oh, yeah. like Way he cheats at cards. So I yeah, the two yeah. Words and then I tell them everything that happened. But I don't understand. Oh, I can't hear you. I heard baby god. Baby god. Baby god. Baby god. <laughs> I understand what those two words mean individually. <laughs> it's kind of like the phrase boss baby. Like He's a baby <laughs> yeah. and also a boss. So He's like a mini god. He is definitely some kind of being with, with supernatural powers. Um, so as you relay the information of everything you experienced to uh, everyone there, you see that your friends and uh, and your family all rush over. Uh, you see that um, Antigon Alfeather and uh, the Zondarian army are starting to march toward the palace. They have uh, Churlish with them in chains. And you see that the army is cheering. like, ah! And uh, the people of Broken Rock start to come out of their homes. Um and it seems like there's a bright new day in Yashan now that you all have vanquished the Sovereign of Death. Um, so before we close out, I'd like to do an epilogue. So just a flash forward to see where your characters end up after everything happens. So uh, we'll go around and, and everybody just kind of give me a sense of where what your character's up to. Um, so we're going to jump ahead. Uh, and this is probably about five to six months later. Um, so things have stabilized in the region. Broken Rock has a democracy now. And when uh, your mom, Mithrika, is the first elected uh, leader uh, on the council, uh, and there is a, a council of people who makes decisions now on Broken Rock. Um, and there are other um, parts of Yashan that are looking to adapt a similar model. Um, Did she get a divorce from Wynn's dad? <laughs> no. Um, so they're still together. Um, he's still um, doing his Robin Hood thing, but he's more cautious about who he trusts now. Um, so uh, why don't we go around and, and see where everyone is? So um, Arya, do you want to go first? Um, where is Arya six months after saving the world from the Sovereign? Um, Arya is looking for the next sensible replacement for Elders and Robin and trying to provide guidance for a new upcoming wave of feathered fist monks who were, you know, feeling the, the void in leadership in, in Elders instead um, and just trying to help rebuild Broken Rock as much as possible, though I look forward to rejoining the Glee Club. So future. yeah, Arya, you you have this um, this uh, gi now that has the symbol of the feather fist on it, and uh, your best friend Thea is with you, um, and she stops with you for a moment as you're walking on your journey to find um, a new potential leader uh, for the order uh, as well as new recruits, and she she turns to you and she says, "Why?" Don't you take Elderson's place? I think my place is with my friends. I know that sounds kind of weird and, and nonsensical and, and maybe immature, but, but I've done amazing things with them that other groups can't do. And I think that's really where I need to be. She smiles and she's like, I've always loved how sentimental you are. And uh, <laughs> she starts to walk Punch in. Punch your arm. <laughs> you all, uh, you walk together uh, on your quest to find the new leader uh, before you return to the Glee Club. 
Um, Marty, what has Marty been up to in the last six months? Uh, I imagine, among other things, the ma- one big uh, thing he is doing is uh, running a support group called Life After Multiple Deaths uh, for people who find themselves in situations where they have died or nearly died multiple times and dealing with that and finding ways to exist normally in a world where uh, having survived death, uh, you could be tempted to make very dumbass decisions. Uh, and I, I, I run this group, this community of people. I try to find peaceful ways to assist the community. Sometimes I'll use my barbarian rage to move something heavy. But uh, for the most part, I scrapbook uh, wedding ideas secretly uh, for my friends and people that I care about. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to what my next adventure and the next version of me will look like. Because if I've learned anything by now, it's that the version of me that exists now isn't the one that has to exist uh, in the future. Uh, you see at your business where you run a counseling service, uh, a lot of adventurers come and speak to you. A lot of people from the Hero Adventuring Academy and um, they, uh, the the uh, headmaster there, the new headmaster, um, has erected a statue at the academy in your honor, as well as a statue of Gravis and those that fought at Stone Snarry. Um, and you see that your service becomes a cornerstone of the adventurer's uh, experience, and you your business thrives in the land of Yishan. Um, I wear the sad jorts now. Maybe that has something to do with it. I feel like I've earned it. Yeah, at this point. you're rocking the, the jorts, and uh, they were handed down to you, and now you wear them with honor. In um, honor of a great man. What about Wynn? Where is Wynn now? Wynn took a several month long vacation where she took a long nap, just the longest of naps. Um, and then I think she got back to work like restoring Broken Rock because a big horrible battle of darkness uh, took over. And I think she was on the campaign trail with her mom for a bit in the city. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think she was trying to hunt down to see if any of her other friends survived after that battle. Um, and then just taking it easy, like going back to the soup kitchen and um, spending some time with Orpheus and seeing what's going on there. And listen, she doesn't know what she wants, and I don't know what Orpheus wants, but I think that they're going to just spend a lot of time together. <laughs> yeah, so you, you're spending a lot of time uh, at the soup kitchen rebuilding Broken Rock. Uh, and one day while you're at the soup kitchen, um, it's a normal day, um, uh, and Orpheus is usually there with you, but she's running late. And you see she shows up, um, and uh, it's it's a pretty loud, busy day in the soup kitchen. Um, but she walks over to you and she's like, hey, um, can I talk to you for a second? Yes, but you have to help me hand out some more of these mashed potatoes first. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. And uh, there's a kid walking by and she grabs the kid. She's like, hey, uh, do the mashed potato thing. And then she, okay. she grabs you up. She's like, come on. Uh, not exactly what I meant, but OK. Uh, so she um, takes you in the back and she's like, hey, um, so and she uses her robot arm to kind of scratch her head nervously. And she's like, I I don't really know uh, how to say this, but I, I made this for you. And she pulls out a box and hands you the box. I'm very impressed. This is a great box. Oh, it's, it's great craftsmanship. Open the box, you goof. <laughs> okay, I open the box. You open the box, and inside uh, there is a locket, um, and uh, it, it has a little clasp where you can open it. You made this? Yeah, I did, and you didn't see the best part yet. Okay, okay, okay. I open it. You open it, and there is a photo of you and your best friends, all of you from when you were all younger. Um, And it was the last photo that you all took together before you left. Um, And she looks at you and she says, we probably can't get them back, but that doesn't mean that we have to forget about them. You're right. This is perfect. Thank you, Orpheus. She smiles and she's like, 
yeah, it is. And she kisses you on the cheek uh, and then kind of blushes and walks away really fast. You're stupid. <laughs> um, so, Mady, uh, where, where is Mady now, six months later? Okay. So, well, now Hell for Leather has a, uh, uh, um, a new arm of their company. My blacksmithing has uh, has become part of Hell for Leather, so that she's able to kind of create a new. We manufacture a lot of her her products now. Um, Keith and I went into business together, <laughs> and you know, and we're working on stuff. We we think we're going to save the human race, but we don't want to rush into things. You know, we kind of jump started our relationship at the beginning. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm just like. Every day, just going to the office, making some cool stuff that uh, that Fatima created, and just waiting for our next adventure. Awesome, you. Uh, so Keith, uh, he teaches um, uh, fashion for young orcs. Uh, is like a <laughs> class that he teaches of how to be a handsome orc man. And uh, <laughs> after one day after he finishes class, um, he comes over in like this tailor made suit that he has. Um, and he um, comes over to you and he says, hey, um, I don't know if you're into this kind of thing, but like today's our anniversary and I was thinking we could do something special. Um, and he pulls out um, a thing of metal flowers uh, for you. And he's like, I've been working on my blacksmithing skills. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Um, he hands them to you and he's like, you know, we never had that date in the dunes. We could do that now. Oh my god, they did it! <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm trying to remember. You know, I still have that dress. Let me go grab it real quick. Can I go and put on that uh, that blue dress that matches his skin so nice? Yeah. So in your blue dress and in his uh, super tight tailor made suit, uh, you all <laughs> walk outside and uh, you have a. a this um, flying um, uh, airship that Fatima built for you all, and you get in it and you fly off towards your date in the dunes together. Um, and Keith and Mady are going as strong as ever. Um, so that is all that we have for you all for Realms and Roleplay presents Sovereign of Death. Thank you so much for going on this journey with us. We hope that you had as much fun uh, watching as we did playing and, and having you all here. Um, we'll be back uh, later for more seasons, so check back and see what we have for you. And as always, take care. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.